Good morning, everybody. We are live. It's the Saturday morning stretch. Um, but we're going to rename this episode the Saturday, Saturday morning uh, wake up because uh, I'm currently. Do you hear the dog? No, that's you passing gas. Don't blame the dog. <laughs> that, that's, those are not farts. <laughs> the dog is. The dog is playing with her her pig toy that Ollie bought. Mm -hmm. Give me that pig mm -hmm. toy. That is not um, gas being shared. Um, mm. pig toy. What's that? Nothing. <laughs> you don't believe it? Yeah, I know it. I know what it is. It's it's Lady Prime. Slowly, yeah. her body's waking up. <laughs> With each step, I with each step, she takes it's in the morning. <laughs> There's Trev with the pig farts. Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, hope everybody's doing well. Um, I'm gonna wake up at some point this morning. Uh, Robin is in the chat with the first. That's like a really big deal to her. Cat fighting. Oh, okay. Not in the house. Uh, Robin also quotes, uh, I'm learning to fly, but I ain't got wings. Coming down is the hardest thing. Also, Robin says, fly like an eagle to the sea. Fly like an eagle that my spirit carry me. And then uh, butterflies are free. Oh, oh, man. Butterflies are free to fly. Fly away. Uh, Neil was in the chat. Also, great to see I get on the thumbnail like Madam did. Uh, I will fix that here in a moment. Uh, Lady Prime commenting that I'm always half asleep. That is true. That is true. Working overnights. It's not good for my health. Uncanny D-Man, good morning, David. Uh, David, I need to go back and watch your video where you give your WrestleMania 40 uh, review, your thoughts on it. I thought it was a phenomenal show. I thought it was the perfect show uh, to enter into this new era, if you will. How many do you have? 18. I had like 25 or something like that, and I whittled it down this morning. Uh, Trev says the good morning error body. Oh, Madam good made it. Mess. Good morning, Madam. Good morning, Trev. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, Robin says some people have morning coffee. I get morning laxative. Go me. What? <laughs> 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 uh, some people get to have a coffee and an Adderall in the morning. So, wow. Uh, Robin looking up Adderall. <laughs> uh, yes, madam, you you were letting me know last week you are a morning person. Uh, Comic Cat Collectibles, good morning. Hope you're doing well. And then Trev with the pig farts. So, there we go. Uh, you may have your... your uh, <laughs> your uh, hashtag for tomorrow. Go girl. Am I robbing the Barbie mansion this morning? No, no. I'm robbing Ken's mansion. I'm robbing <laughs> Lady Prime. Let's see. I'm robbing Ken's mansion. Hey, Brian. Uh, Robin is number one while doing number two. Hashtag laxatives. <laughs> Good morning, Brian. Is that Neil or a smooth criminal? That is a phenomenal hat, Neil. Did that cost more than the um, one piece hat? No, this was six dollars too. <laughs> Same place. Yep. <laughs> That's where I get my hats from. Nice. <laughs> is that where you also got the the Neff beanie? No, that was Target. I get the bit I got that from. Uh, he's going to rob the Bobby Dream home later, Godfather. No, Brian today apparently. Yeah, I saw that last night in the 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 uh, group chat he had put in. You got a, a part time job of a safari bus driver. <laughs> and uh, Trev Neil is smooth without the hat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All righty. Uh, good morning, everybody. Like I said, going back to those thoughts, had a had a pretty good week. Only had to work two nights this week, but um, because I flipped my schedule and my six nights off, 
I didn't sleep Wednesday night when I went in. And then Thursday, I didn't get a lot of sleep. So when I came home yesterday, I fell asleep on the floor with the dog for about uh, five, six hours straight. And then um, that was slow moving the rest of the day after that. Uh, I was watching Super Rust 9000 last night. He was doing a, organizing his comics, and I was trying to organize and rearrange my room the same time. <sighs> Wasn't happening much, but uh, Lady Prime insists that we are cleaning today. Cleaning day? Yep. Yep. yep she says cleaning day. So, yeah. After, oh, yes, you do cleaning days, and then I have to do makeup. Too. Yes, you, she will be doing one of her work co-workers' makeup. Um, her, her co-worker... Is a uh, it's a part time job for her, right? Mm -hmm. She's a college. Yeah. She's a college student, her freshman year, but her boyfriend is a senior year in high school, and so uh, either going to prom or just taking prom pictures, one of the two. So Lady Prime will be doing her makeup, setting that up. Uh, let's see. Let me get this set up here and this done here. All righty. Uh, were you was it was this a hard one, Neil, to find flying color covers? Not really, no. No, there's a fair few once you start looking. Yes, this was an easy challenge, and so I kind of, uh, I kind of uh, made it hard because <laughs> it was I found too many books. But I think I whittled it down to ten. Ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm gonna pick the first ten that come up, unless we somehow have. Uh, a similar cover, then I'll I'll go through my stack. Uh, Trev says, "Smash that like button." Yeah, really. Uh, I'm not really looking forward to cleaning, but uh, I know it needs to be done. I know it needs to be done. Uh, Robin with the smooth moves X lax. So <laughs> enjoy the laxative. Uh, Neil, you asked me last night during Super Russ's live stream if I was going to have uh, all Superman covers. When you are, uh... I am not. I purposely only. Is there only one in that stack? I think I only have one Superman cover. I think mean, I've got two with Superman on, but they're not both Superman books. Gotcha. Uh, will Robin get upset? She said she would go crazy if there would be three Supermans in a row. Mm -hmm. So we'll we'll see if. Uh... <laughs> We'll see if the book I have that has Superman. It, mine is a Superman book, but he's not the only, the only one on the cover. Oops. Uh, we'll have to set that later. All righty. Um, where's Mike this morning? Still spooning in the bed asleep. I, <laughs> <laughs> Um, let's see. Who won the last one? Am I going first this time? Uh, you can go first. All right. This order is specifically picked by Lady Prime. Everybody oh. in the chat says, yeah, well, everybody in the chat says I need to let Lady Prime pick the book. So, oh, you know what? Let me go to this. There we go. You asked me when I said I only, well when I said I only had one book, it was I had well, uh, yes, madam. I understand you won last time, but uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Trev says Mike is grumpy in the mornings. <laughs> Don't wake Mike; he needs his rest. Uh, in in Super Russ's chat, I, I said I only had one. I meant I had only one set aside, not that I only had one flying cover. And then you said, "Well, you have uh -huh. Hawkman books," and I was like. I'm like, yes, I do have Hawkman books. And so right now I'm going to use Hawkman number two. This is during uh, Vendetti's run on the title. And so we have Hawkman flying in the skies with a flying dragon serpent. That's good, that one. Definitely. I like it. Uh, thank you, Trev. Trev says, no guest battle. Fanboy has a chance. That's true. Every time he guesses. Well, I'm not... I'm... <laughs> I'm gonna switch my books up now. That was a good one. <laughs> Neil, can I you say what? Well, a good one book. against that, to be honest. Say that again. I want to pick a bad book because that was a good one. <laughs> uh, Brian um, wants to know yeah. if you can say "Welcome to Jurassic Park." <laughs> no. <laughs> that is definitely good. So I'm gonna use this one. 
Biscuit. It's like the this painted. So I don't remember who the cover artist is. Let me let me see if I can figure that out. They did a few on these uh this style. Uh, this is going to be uh what is it? Wow, that's some kind of name. I can't pronounce that. Uh, let's see. Uh, well, I had cap blocks. Let's see. There we go. Ah, I'm not trying to share a screen. Why did you do that? All right, let's see. No. Uh, of course, we're, we're on a chat, so I'm going to ask somebody to pronounce it, and I won't be able to hear them pronounce it. Uh, we'll just Amen. say it's Sejic. We'll say it's Sejic. This is the cover artist. This is a variant cover. So there we go. For those in the chat who uh, mm -hmm. will be curious. Um, Robin says, oh, fanboy come in hard. I'll leave, I'll, I'll leave that one there. <laughs> I'll leave that one there. Uh, Trev says it's a great cover. Madam says Frazetta. Frazetta. It, it definitely has those those vibes. Frazetta vibes. Peter Jones. Uh-oh. Uh, Dances with Arvarks. Good morning. There we go. There you, there's your artist. All righty. Right, All right. I'm just gonna show this one. That's a lot of flying right there. Have you have you showed that one before? Yes. Which one was that on? Was it when you had the oh, was it the no, super? No. I think it's when we did Batman Maybe. versus Superman. Maybe. Yeah. Those are actually from it it's says a, Superman toys in the attic. So I'm thinking they may be just talk, uh, like toys, action figures. What does That's it say, toys in, toys in the Attic, in, inside the book? It's just on the first page, right there. Ah, I got you. Okay, okay. I bought that book after you showed it, because I, I know I needed it in the collection. But I haven't. I'm in the process of starting my Superman read-through, so I haven't got that far yet. So that's why the small, and so it makes sense now. Actually, yeah. I don't know why I always thought it was the Legion of Superheroes, but it wouldn't make sense because Superman's ties with the Legion were supposed to end. She's looking at her toys after uh, after the Crisis on Infinite Earths. Uh, fan <laughs> fanboy calling out Neil right out of the gate. No, yeah. no, no. I'm just curious. Just curious. Not fanboy. Probably. No, I don't. No, Not we don't do that on this show. We never call out when co covers are used. Uh, and he doesn't do that in his real life. <laughs> thanks, thanks, Lady Prime, calling me out. I got my voice back. So. Oh yeah, she has her voice back this week. Uh, Robin says, "I mean, technically, there's a lot of things flying in there, Neil, or in Neil's. Yeah, well, I mean, that's what it is. So, was this why you questioned it? If 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 it was things flying, what? Kinda, kinda. It went this cover, but yeah, that, there's another one that. And I thought, well, maybe, maybe not. But this one, that uh, I, I didn't know that it was actually action figures, but the toys. I just noticed that this morning, just now. Ah, but it's still flying. It's it's still flying. flying. Those toys are flying. Yes, like you can buy a flying toy at the store. Like kids play with flying toys, and we yeah. would call that flying, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. What is your confidence level with that cover? You said you wanted to pick the worst one. I don't feel confident at all with that. Uh, I, I don't know. It's a good cover, but not as good as what you show. But if see, people I, are going for like good quality art, then yours will win. But well, what I've found is the chat only respects the modern covers. True. <laughs> Oh, wait, I can't vote because I picked. Oh, I'm trying to figure out what the yeah, dog was. You're going to be biased, Lady Prime. You're, you're yeah, going to go for yours. You'll be but, the tiebreaker vote. 
Lady Prime picking is actually doing. Um... That's my sounds. The, the chat told me I needed to follow that advice. So you, I get, I I pick the initial ten books. Well, <laughs> you helped me pick the ten books, <laughs> David, with the Neil vote right there. Two to one. Uh oh. Two to two. Robin took Neil. Where's your duck at, girl? <laughs> Reluctantly, is it really that bad? Mm -hmm. I don't. I I will say this. I'm not a huge fan of how Hawkman looks in it. Because she knows you're an awful person. <laughs> That's why she's rolling. The dragon, to me, the dragon looks cooler than Hawkman does. I think the more attention was paid paid to the dragon. I think you than, took that one. Than to than to um than to Hawkman. Uh first time ever, so he probably won't see it. Oh, you message you Mike. Let that man sleep, y'all. No, oh, it's me. Uh I might go with this one just to see. I asked the question yesterday if things floating was something flying technically. Well, like, is it a character floating in the air? No. That can fly? Is it a, no. like a floating castle? No. Like, like a, a floating mountain? Like, like you know, like a. We'll, sh we'll show it, or well, when you're ready to show it, show it, and we'll we'll figure it out. I, to me, it's flying if it's in the air. Mm. <laughs> Trev, <laughs> Trev, motivating the chat this morning. Yeah, I could have won if the everyone bought it. I might have won. <laughs> Yeah, I'll read this one. I don't know why that's leaning like that. I'm not sure if I did. It might be the the, the earthquake that happened. The skeleton. Oh, okay. Lady Prime says she can't vote. She feels she's too biased. Open up that one. Let me see what it looks like. The Prime household got some um, mail from Robin over the weekend. No, yes, oh, uh, few days. Lady Prime already opened it. Lady Prime put a sticker on her mug. No, the the white yeah, one. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of curious why mine isn't on a mug. Is that what Robin said? Neil, yeah, I think we have an extra sticker of yours. Yeah, so that lets you know that she doesn't wash her mug. Shut up. Because she puts stickers on it. I wash it. I'm going to show that in two weeks, and those stickers are going to still look brand new because she doesn't wash that mug. Hey, Carmen. Hey, Carmen. You want to let Carmen decide uh, or vote in round one, Neil? No, you won it. I don't oh. wanna... You won that one. Be the problem. You don't well, you'd probably pick yours anyway. <laughs> I didn't say that. All right, are we ready to start round two? Uh, yeah, uh, this is a questionable cover, but I'm going to use it. All right. Why is it questionable? So is this what you were talking about? The balloons are floating? Yes. Mm. Mm. Because they are tethered to the human, holding them. Whereas if the human wasn't holding it, we would say that balloon's flying away. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. I said we'd let the chat decide. Oh, Trev said disqualified. Disqualified. Where's Robin? I know Robin's going to have an opinion on this. <laughs> what did we do with the other stickers? Um, we... Uh, we have a coffee table that the stickers wind up on and I'll probably show that freezing in a short. for everyone. Yeah. I was going to say, is it freezing for everyone? I'm cold. No, but it's not means the, 
the um oh, the chat live stream. <laughs> I'm cold this morning. Uh I don't know. Is it freezing for you? You have it open. No. No, Carmen. Uh, Robin, that fail, is that because of what we did with your stickers or because of Neil's cover? <laughs> yeah, where is the other stickers? <laughs> One's going to the coffee table. I'm sure Ollie will do something with his. This sticker's coming up right there. I gotta fix them too. There's something underneath it. Uh, so you're sticking with this one? No, nope, it is a cool cover. I agree. What's up, Otaku? Come on. Good to see you. What, what do people think? Do, can I use it? Or... I don't. I flying when you're. I when you guys said flying, I'm thinking like heroes someone, flying. Heroes, something's. Fl well, then Neil asked about like planes, and I was like, yeah, that's cool too, because it's flying. But then he said, say floating. And so whenever I thought floating, I was thinking like characters floating in the sky or like, I don't know. Uh, I wasn't thinking balloons tethered to a human. Yeah, what but um, you could have a Zeppelin on a cover and that's technically floating, but it's flying. The same thing. I'm with uh, Trev. Cool, cool cover, though. And what does a hot air balloon do? Does that fly or does what? Well, see, I'm fine with the because it's not being held down. But I don't know. Hey, like I said, the chat decides. It is a cool cover. I'll use a different one. <laughs> Levitating and flying are different. Robin says, I don't like it. Carmen's Craft says, it's cold here. Uh, okay, that one's flying. Taku says floating. Uh, Carmen says it's cold there too. So there we go. The screen is freezing and it's cold. Uh, Robin says, good point with the Zeppelin. I like this idea. If it's self-propelled, it's flying. Uh, is this character floating? Robin, Robin says, but a hot air balloon has a motor. Carmen Craft says it's raining again. I wish we had rain in the forecast like four or five days last week, and we saw mist. We never saw rain. Oh, Hot air balloons don't have motors. What's up, Pole Barn? Good morning. Hope you're doing well. Here we go. Here's David. If Superman is in the air not moving, is he still flying? Ah, see, I have this question exactly. coming up. Well, never mind. I'm not going to give it away. Uh, because my next cover? Is exactly what we we're kind of talking about. One. Yeah, but Robin, Robin, where's the motor on that hot air balloon? Uh, Robin says hi, Doug. I'm going to say he's flying because that's how he got up into the air. Robin says it's raining there too, so we've got the uh, north of the border. Anyway, Weather. this is this is my cover. Here we go. This is the chat breaking it down. Trev says he's flying, but not in motion. So not in the action of flying, but flying. Thank you. <laughs> We're in English. All We're in English again. <laughs> not the act. Robin says Zeppelins have motors. David says balloons are still in the air. They're just anchored. Pole barn. Doug says hot air balloons uh, do not have a motor, Robin. It's just a giant flamethrower. You sure you don't want the balloon cover? David's fighting for you. He says balloons are still in the air. They're just anchored. They are just anchored, but if he was to let go of them, they would be in the air. They would, would be flying. But in the movie Up, he used balloons. That's a cartoon. It's an animated movie. It's a movie. Cartoon. Hey. It's not real. Is the um? So we're not superheroes, but are, are but uh, it's not a superhero that one. Yeah, yeah, but is that character? Well, let me show that other cover first. See, I don't think a I don't think a kite is flying, although you fly a kite. What if what if that character is holding those balloons 
and her feet are not on the ground. <laughs> She'd be fly floating or flying, one of the two. Uh, he's on drugs, flying. <laughs> Balloons are flying if let go. Yeah, that was my point. Uh, Madam says, I love how the chat is scrolling over Neil like CNN. Soon we would just be able to make out one eye. Uh, and the other mic, if you're here, let's see. Um, so, okay. Once again, the debate in the chat. No, you can't eat Chi-Chi. Sleepy, can you believe this? Or is it not at work? All right, so which cover do you want to go with? I'm going to go with it. Because because we're letting the chat decide? Because it's a cool cover. It is a fantastic cover. When we, get back, when we get back to October and we do skull covers, you got to whip that one out again. So Marvel's Marvel's epilogue. I'm assuming this is a a, a Phoenix-based character here. I think that's who it is, Phoenix. Yeah. Uh, Cliff on comics. I love the hat, Neil. There we go. Madam, I can only see half of Neil. That's good. He's got to show his book. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going with that one. All right. What have you got? Um, Remember, Lady Pram picked these books in this order, so we'll see. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take it in the order she picked it. Uh, Doug says, rough night for me with no fan. Power is still uh, out, and we uh, the generator kept popping the breaker. Got it fixed now. Warmed the house back up. Oh, man. That's... uh. That's no fun. That's no bueno, as they say here in town. While you're trying to talk to them in English. Uh, skull covers. Robin's making a note. Uh, Robin, are you, will you be... Uh, well, I guess we'll write it down. Robin will be uh, in October. You have until October. Our skull can cover I, challenge. Can I show my new cover? Uh, go ahead. This is a cover challenge show, so Lady Prime wants to show her phone cover. I got my new phone case. Yeah, that's cool. That that would be so annoying to me. That I'm married to you. Of, is it plastic or is it like um like rubber? Yeah. yeah. That's cool. Is that an angel? Who's who it? Oh, are you talking about Neil's cover? Do you think if you have it have it in your butt pocket, it look like there's a hand on your butt? Well, that's, you don't hold my hand. It's a little, you don't hold my butt, so this is the close I got. A little hand for that big old badonka <laughs> donk. <laughs> big old. That I said, hey, that trunk, it's full. <laughs> uh, clip on comics says, "Le Senor." <laughs> I can't speak my Spanish now. Uh, that, did, you, did you hear when I was talking about the wrestlers? On Tuesday night, I was talking about Andrade, and I was I would say oh, that yeah, I was like, man, I, dude, I was hitting it like. So, oh, I, who are you? so I have to be awake to 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 use my my the Hispanic That's side of myself, cover. but I was because I even I was like, whoa, I can't believe I said that right. All right, so my cover is going to be one of the floating flying debates, but I insist she's flying. That's how she got in the sky. This is JLA classified number one from September or cover dated September. Of 2005. Uh, and it could also be a hot air balloon cover. Hey, folks. There's a plane there as well. Look. Yes, the plane's flying. There we go. That's good, but I'm not sure about the cover. I don't like the cover. Oh, this is one of my favorite That's covers. My favorite. That's the one I'm going to bury him in with. <laughs> I don't like the black outline around us. That bothers me. The line work. Oh. Yeah. If, yeah. if that that black outline went so like a little bit, little bit more subtle, not so dark. Yeah, it's too much. Full bar. Well, says she's that, 
it, it's a good cover, but I just don't like the, the outline. This must be a Christmas book. A top you tour guide and Trev pointed out Adam Hughes. Yes. How's it not working? There we go. Let's go, mm. Adam Hughes. Uh, that phone case would freak Trev out at night grabbing for the phone. <laughs> Doug says she's kind of popping. Uh, Robin wants you to do a short on that phone case. Uh, but she is just laying there, not flying. How does she stay up if she's just laying there? She still has to use her propulsion to fly. Such a fire cover. Is the plane flying or floating? <laughs> she's floating backwards. There you go. And are her boots lighter in air? Lady, lady Prime focusing on the lady bits. She wants to know if... Um, if, if, if the heavies are lighter in the air or not. <laughs> uh, Doug saying Niels was levitating. So we have a levitating cover versus a floating cover. Mine does have a plane flying in the background. Yeah, though. but she's got there by flying. And we don't know if she's slowly moving in the air. Are you using the plane or the girl? I'm using the cover, Robin. I'm using the cover. Trev, she does have two balloons. This is <laughs> Alec Ross versus uh, what was yours? Mine's Adam Hughes. That is an Alex Ross cover? Yes. Gotcha. Alec Ross. Um, <laughs> Her heavies are Kryptonian. She is just fine. Inside also. Oh, okay. I mean, that's a remnant of the Marvel. Yeah, the, uh, the old Marvel series back in the 90s, which. Great Alex Ross art. Hey, lady, fantastic. Hey, lady, fantastic. Good morning. Uh, Doug says this one is close. She could be falling with style. I don't think she's falling. I think if she's Which falling, yours? The, the cape would be more wrapped around her. Uh, Otaku says fanboy prime. Uh, Trev says fanboy prime. Neil wins this one because Phoenix. <laughs> Madam voting for Fanboy Prime. Lady Fantastic, I believe, is taking Neil. Doug taking Fanboy Prime. Carmen taking, wow, this one's close. And <laughs> Doug taking Neil. Oh. <laughs> oh, Neil, you might steal this round. Hello. What did you choose on? I think you got it. Which one would Lady Prime pick? Lady Fantastic. I'm a Phoenix fan. I can't help it. Uh, no worries. Which, uh, which one would you pick? Boobs. I mean, just, um, Power Girl. Power Girl. You would pick Power Girl? Yeah. Gotcha. gotcha. I think because I've seen that cover so many times in this house that it's just embedded. It's what in bed? What? <laughs> <laughs> Talking about boobs and then going to bed. I think you got it, Neil. We trusted this five five. But well, you've already five five. How how is it five five? I don't know. Uh, Are you counting Lady Prime's vote? But it was Trev making that count. I didn't say that. So now it's six five. Trev says it's six five. I mean, uh, Brian. Uh... <laughs> oh, Brian, all the past the. Put his foot in it and bought for you. <sighs> did, I, did I pick that one, Neil? Yeah, you did, yeah. I'm not going to count it unless you say it. No, you took it. Forgot to do this. I'll give you it. Why is my computer doing this this morning? I don't really have great covers, but that, that one's a good cover, but I don't want to use it just yet. Oh, wait, I'm going to go first this round, right? Let me, go, let me set no, the No, you go. Yeah. Let's you go first. I might use it. This is in bad shape. I thought it was better shape than this. I might use that.
Okay. All right. There we go. All right. Um, <clears throat> next up is a classic cover. Oh, classic. Here we go. Ah, uh, yeah. That's what I said, though. Uh, the chat only likes moderns. They don't like the old ones, so. Oh, Chad said he missed Cliff the first time. Got gotcha, you, got gotcha. you. Okay. Uh, I'm watching twice, Robin. Uh, this is going to be Neil Adams. This is Superman 252. Now, hopefully the pin marks uh, do not get me disqualified. But uh, we have a lot of flying going on on this cover. One of those uh, DC 100s, 100 pages for 50 cents. They had it made back in the day. Dr. Fate, Hot Girl, Hawkman, Spectre, Red Tornado, Shining Knight, Supergirl, Superman. Ooh, I might use that one. Team Brian's here. I'm going to use this one. There's a poster of this for sale on Macari. That's where I think I saw it. I think I'd, I'd buy that. Yeah. So, wraparound cover. Now, that's a flying cover. Thank you, madam. Six flying and one flying horse. That's right. If on comics, that is most certainly a flying cover. Wrap around fire. Goodness. <laughs> no opening allowed. Neil opens all the time. <laughs> Was it the animal cover where you had the grill on there? Mm. Clip on comics. Silver Age covers are bangers. Uh, Otaku would love this one. I know that. I don't know what she was trying to get. You're trying to get this? Let me throw it away. Let's see. I guess that is what it was. Uh, wrap around flying. That's right. And more on the back. That's going to be hard to beat, Neil. Well, you can't that's use that. the back. That's what you I have to do when I fly by. You got to have realistic to win, Neil. Uh oh. Wow, Madam really likes this fanboy. Should win the whole challenge with this cover alone. Uh, this was the one cover I told you I had last night ready, ready on the go. When I first saw this cover show, I don't know. Who it. The first time I saw I this cover, it. I thought I'm going to do a, a, a flying cover challenge at some point because of this cover. I don't like the shading, but it's a good cover. <laughs> uh, whoever owned this book beforehand uh, did not like the yellow, so they took out the yellow S. Uh, Dr. Fate's helmet is, is colored green. So I'm on the hunt to, to buy an updated copy of this book, but it's uh, I haven't found a deal yet. Hey, Robert Springs. Good morning. Hey, Hope Robert. You're doing well. Robert says, hello, Fanboy Prime and everybody else in the live chat. Hello to all, and happy Saturday. Definitely happy Saturday. Uh, someone had an album, right? A, La a Life Full of Saturdays or something like that? I think I'm going to use that one. Yeah, I think it's an album title. I don't know, but uh, if not, it should be one. I got to clean this one up. I'm going to send this to Otaku so he can clean this up for me. And so, uh, but yeah, I'm, just, I'm going to, uh, like I said, try to find an updated copy of this one. <laughs> All right, Neil. Are you ready? I'm going to yes, use sir. my. Um, I'll do my best cover. Batman number three. Did they reboot, or is there is it Batman like a, a certain title? Like, does it say something under Batman? Uh, the Brave and the Bold. Oh, okay, got you. All right. I was like, I didn't know how it was on number three again. That's why. <clears throat> Is that a thicker book? Yeah, it's a. Oh, pretty, okay, got like you. A kind of square bound. I could see the yeah, I could see the little uh, intention line there at the end. Hey, Manny, good to see you. Hope you're doing hey, well. Manny. <laughs> Oh 
man, I had some Manny artwork that I wanted to show off this morning that I forgot to send it to my. Computer. I'll have to do that here in a minute. <clears throat> well, Boar, good morning. Neil spared no expense on that cover. Hey, well, Boar. How much? <laughs> hashtag rats. How much would that book have run? Was that a ten dollar book? Seven ninety nine. Man. I showed a 50 cent book versus a, an $8 book. And I wonder which one has more pages. It's just crazy. Comics are getting. It's a double flying cover. You got the plane yeah. flying and then flying. Yours is like a 10, 10 flying cover. Uh, one, two, three, four. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Robin wants to know what it smelled like. It smells kind of nice, this one, actually. <laughs> I'm afraid to smell mine. All eight. Uh, Trev says, Ghost Machine, 399, 38 pages. Yeah, like I heard there was a lot of hype with the Ghost Machine this week. So uh, I was missing not being a modern collector, but uh, maybe that'll change here in the coming months. Uh, Clip on Comics, uh, Brave and the Bold shoes cover is yeah, very it's nice. Shoes absolutely. Smells like right. <laughs> Uh, that's good. All righty. Definitely grab Ghost Machine Books. It's going to pop off. Thanks, sir. Uh, Duly so noted. Have a little vote. Yeah, a little vote. We'll do that. This awesome modern against that. Um, okay, classic. Uh, Robin is looking. Looked, <laughs> Robin looks up pop off. Robin, when you find pops off, let's let's get you to type out the uh, chat. Uh, what is it, chat GBT, uh definition for that? Uh, well, born my failed joke. I should have said, "Welcome to Jurassic Park." <laughs> uh, let's see. Trav takes fanboy prime. Otaku well, tour guide takes fanboy prime. Neil is taking. Uh, sorry, a D man is taking Neil. Uh, Brian says Neil has a great cover, but going with fanboy prime. Robin is taking Neil. Manny is taking Fanboy Prime. It's outside. Okay. Well, Boar is taking Fanboy Prime. Well, Boar is a huge Superman fan. You ought to see all his Superman covers on uh, Instagram. I just want to point that out. Uh, well, Boar runs the Superman fan club north of the border. You won this so one. We hear we hear I the do. states uh, thank him. Two. Robert Springs says Fanboy Prime as well. Look at his awesome cover. You should have pointed out that that's, I'm assuming that's Lois in the window, right? Mm, no, it's a guy. Oh, it's a guy. Never mind then. That, I don't that know been what's cool. going on there. Like. That, that would have been a, it would, it would like have been a, a better story. Uh, in amazement. Uh, both Dougs. Um, that might be. Um... <laughs> Wait, that would have that that cover been, could have been cooler if it had been uh, Lois there. Like he's you yeah. know, he's, he's traveling with her wherever she's going. Uh, Robin says Chat GPT and Google have different definitions. Chat GPT says it's commonly used to describe situations where there's a certain burst of energy, enthusiasm, or success. And Google says it means die. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Lady Prime likes Google versions better. <laughs> uh, I do like that she capitalized die. <clears throat> Let's see if I can do this. <clears throat> Robin says 
Chat GPT and Google have different definitions. Chat GPT says it's commonly used to describe situations where there's a sudden burst of energy, enthusiasm, or success. And Google says it means die. Robin, uh, I'll be here all day. So. <laughs> I tried. That was my best. Uh, like I said, <clears throat> as long as you're Robin in first nation. Yeah, I don't. It wasn't. It wasn't good this morning. It wasn't good. But like Robin nailed it when it comes to like speak, speaking with clarity on the stream. So I cannot. I cannot. Uh, I can't hate on it. I, oh. and, and it's unique for sure. You can be Robin for Halloween, and I'll be Neil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Trap says get a blonde wig. I'll have to do that. Uh <laughs> someone needs to take the AI away from Robin. I would have went with a big die. <laughs> but uh yes, uh if anyone didn't hear that, I don't want to repeat it because I think that would be a great <laughs> a great surprise. <laughs> <laughs> here's the thing here's the thing she only dresses up as men for halloween so just so you know <laughs> <up as. laughs> oh man all right let's see i need to update the banner I don't know what to do next. Who's going first? Me or you? Me. You're going first yeah. this round. Oh, I might. You yeah, might. Hey, no, I might show that. Stop using that. Yeah, I'm going to show before. this. Are uh, you ready? Or do you want to wait a bit? No, no, we're good. We're good. Uh, but you have to come on doing your make. Oh, great. Yeah, because then I can put you through torture. Oh, man. Yeah, I think we'll, the, the next time Lady Prime pays, applies makeup to my face, I'll record it so y'all can see uh, how calmly I act and how out of character she is while putting it on. Yeah. So. This is a 25-cent book. Oh. So it's an old one. All right. Here we go. And this is Atlas Comics Phoenix. And these flying horses are flying. I don't own an Atlas book. That is cool. What is up, Mike? Hope you're doing well. Uh, crucial. Crucial. Uh, the uh, Doug says, if I'm going to be Robin, I have to be doing my makeup. And cleaning my room. Or do if I'm going to be Robin, I have to be cleaning this room while I'm doing the live stream. Wellbar wants then, to know what the theme is. What's that? Wellbar wants to know what the theme is. Where do you see that? Oh, there it is. Yeah. Uh, flying. We are doing flying. So he has the uh, flying alien starships on the cover. It's fantastic. <clears throat> oh man, was it that loud? <laughs> Me clearing my throat, I can hear it on. <clears throat> Let me do yeah. this. Let me do this. Take care, Brian. Uh, no. You still mute it. Yeah, I know. I'm still clearing my throat. Uh. <clears> throat> uh, <laughs> David says, uh, you are making this tough, Neil. <laughs> That's an awesome cover, that. I I have a feeling that um, Phil Tastic would like that cover. He always liked the covers that I feel like no one's going to like. On, on when I when I pick them, <clears throat> oh, man. <clears throat> um, 
Neil, do you want to explain this one to Robin? Did you see? She says, I don't get, I don't get the cover. These are flying Robins. They're in the air. Aliens. <laughs> People from another planet. Uh, that's not uh, Trev's cup. That's classic. Look at that. That's awesome. <laughs> Mike, glad you got your sleep in. Maybe you were unaware, but some of us rely on your presence. All righty. Um, I wonder if these places still exist. What is this? I wonder if they still exist, if you could fill that out. Oh, like the places in. that they have on that, the ads in the background. Yeah, I love yeah. looking at older books with some of the crazy ads from during that time yeah. period. Like this. Uh, Wellbore says, I haven't posted my random book yet, Fanboy Prime, but I think you know what it is. Uh-oh. <laughs> Trev, was that a mail in GED? <laughs> uh, yeah, so Mike was not... He didn't forget he was sleeping in, or he didn't sleep in, he was working. So there you go. Mike's presence is a present. Uh, how did you how do you pronounce that, Lady Prime? Mike's presences? Oh my. <laughs> I'm texting with one hand. I'm laying down. What's the other hand doing? I'm laying on You're laying on it? I'm doing my uh, T Rex arm where I sleep like. Oh yeah. All right. T Rex. Well, yeah, she's got it curled up behind her head. Her basically arm is being used as a pillow. It's terrible. All right. This was not the Green Lantern cover I would have picked, but Lady Prime picked this one. Like I said, she helped pick the books this morning. You're basically uh, you're basically losing to Lady Prime. I I pretty much had on um, This is the one um, well this was the one book I knew I was going to use. She says she still picked it. I have the Green Lantern. Here. Hopefully, it's not the same one. I have Green Lantern number one. No, this is not. from cover dated July of two thousand five. There you go, Alex Ross. This is not my favorite Green Lantern cover, but this is Lady Prime picked this one in relations for the theme of flying. I, <laughs> I don't like the cover, but. Uh, Trev, no wonder you're winning, fanboy. <laughs> uh, John, Green Lantern, uh, Neil wins. <laughs> let me see. Uh, Actually, just showing my Green Lantern. Hold on, let me. That's the book I'm using, but I want to. I'm gonna just ask the chat because this is the one I would have picked. And I'm just curious. See, I would have picked this one. With Atrocitus, Green Lantern flying, superhero pose in the background, uh, in the front, front foreground. That's the one I was going to pull. But she said, she said this one. So uh, Manny has this one, my Jeff Johns DC fanboy days. Yes, Manny, that's that. Uh, that's a prime time period of DC Comics. There, Robin says fail. W what was the fail? Lady Prime what, picked better. Fail? Uh, Trev says that Lady Prime did it better. So there we go. Lady Prime, I didn't want him to have all Superman covers. What Phil, Robin? Uh, Doug says Lady Prime was correct. <laughs> Neil's picks have been referred to as cannon fodder. <laughs> Fell for fanboy's <laughs> pick. Man, alive. Uh, I guess the quality you know, to that pick. modern junk there. Uh... Everybody thinks your pick was better, Lady Prime. I have great taste, but not with... <laughs> you have great taste. Have... You have great taste when it comes to comic covers, but not with uh, clothing. And... No, not with my husband. Oh. My husband choices oh. were great. Taste. Uh, this past Sunday on Trev's uh, Sunday night stream, Sunday night live, I did announce that we were separating. <laughs> he says that every day. So. <laughs> announced we were separating on the stream. And then... Uh, Trev and Mike proceeded to let me know that uh, <laughs> that uh, he doesn't realize how good he has it. <laughs> and then I'm here snickering. Look at it. I have the I have the chat open, and I go and look, and I'm like, "That's right." We were both watching the the stream. 
I didn't tell you what I put in there. I just started laughing when I put it in. <laughs> Uh, I get Madam's vote again, reluctantly. Uh, Robin says, "Fanboy Prime, you thank your lucky stars you got a great wife." <laughs> <laughs> Neil, you got three votes. Neil, yeah, four see, votes. Evil, evil Mike knows a good couple when he sees one. Fanboy Prime, but I like wow. the classic style of Neil's. Yeah, that is. Well, if you like the classic of mine, then you should be voting for mine. <laughs> what happened? What did he say? Because Wellbore said he likes the classic style of Neil's, but he voted for mine. And Neil <laughs> said, well, if you like the classic style, vote for mine. <laughs> oh, Robert Spring takes Neil, so it's 5-5. Five, five. Uh, Doug, right here, outside the pole bar. Maybe she has a great husband, Robin. Thank you. Thank you. Let me highlight that comment. You no, know, right I have there. tons of people that would... They differ. They differ. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, boy, don't be wishy washy. <laughs> uh, well, looks like we've ended this round in a tie. Yeah, so who's gonna? We can't go Lady Pram because she's gonna vote for yours, obviously. Right? We need a tiebreaker vote. Who didn't vote? We could just do it to tie and do another extra book. Or we could rock, paper, scissors. Yeah, we could rock, paper, scissors it. That's all. Nah, we just do an extra book. That's what I'll say. Yeah, we got time this morning. And you've got 18 covers, so. Yeah. <laughs> Trev, you have to cover two. <laughs> or no. Or, uh, are you still going first since this round wasn't officially decided or am I going first? I can go first. I'm probably going to lose a couple of votes here, but oh well. I'll go. I got it ready. I've got, I've got money. Oh, okay. I don't own that book. A good flying cover. I like the perspective. You see how tall the buildings are. You see that he's clearly going through the roadway of the buildings, the valley of the buildings, so you will. It's a good cover. Oh. <laughs> 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 uh. I, I like that one. That's good. I got to get that book in the collection. That's during uh, Action Comics' uh, 40 issue run of Going Weekly. Oh, we should have held uh, pole bars right. We should have hung them up at the same time for a speed round. Mm. Yeah, I think Superman has just a two page storyline, I think, during that book. But yes. Actually, Comics Weekly when Superman was AWOL, which I don't know if that was to give uh, Byrne a break because he was doing, he was writing and drawing Action Comics and Superman. And then at some point, he kind of took over Adventures of Superman as well. So I don't know if that was the, the thinking or what. <laughs> All right. This cover is going to be heavy for me to hold up. This is, no, I don't know. I guess. No, oh, it's going to be a half naked female. <laughs> Which one? Oh. Uh, it's Supergirl number eight. Supergirl number eight. There They're flying, flying and fighting in the sky. <laughs> Better shade, <in. laughs> He's just taking a, you know, a page out of your book. Uh, Robin wants the to know why the is are ter yellow. terrible. I mean, <laughs> I the airbags is the best thing on that cover. <laughs> Otherwise, the artwork is terrible. <laughs> you're not a, you're not a fan of Ed Bennis. This is the Ed Bennis cover right here. No, he needs to quit drawing. <laughs> uh, this cover might be slightly exaggerated. 
uh, when it comes to, to Power Girls. Um, uh, Robin, yeah, Hattie, well, obviously, flying. Doug's gonna vote that. <laughs> Uh, Robert says they I'm could be. I'm surprised you can get them off the ground. <laughs> uh, they could be jumping, Robin, I guess. Where is this guy flying? The the clouds are yellow, Robin, because that's a <laughs> candy demon under exaggerated. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> thank you, Wellbore. Fanboy Brian wins by double default. <laughs> oh, Lady Prime with the boobs can solve world hunger. Pivot. <laughs> uh, Manny, John, Jeff Johns gave the most inexplicable reason for the boob window. He tried. Hey, I'm a fan of it. She didn't know who she was, so she couldn't have an emblem on her chest. Never mind, she couldn't just wear a, a top that covered everything. Uh, I'm if, worried about the boob sweat. If it were pillows instead of glass, fanboy prime would win. <laughs> uh, uh, Madam votes for Neil. Yeah, she actually voted for me. <laughs> Three. What? Come on. <laughs> uh, a terrible art on that. Robin, it's unfair. <laughs> uh, rig. Yeah, exactly. She found us earthlings in our boob covered shirts disturbing. <laughs> We're the weirdos. Yeah. I couldn't and I couldn't find a good Starfire flying cover in my collection. I need more 80s um mm -hmm. Teen Titans where like well we utilize our hair as part of the, the propulsion. You won. Oh thank you. That the um challenge over. I kind of, I kind of cheated. You won the, you cheated. Well, I mean, like, I saw, well, I saw what you used to utilize all the time on your covers, and so mm -hmm. I picked this book that does not do a good job of showing flying at all. <laughs> I just we knew they were. Flying. We can carry on just for the fun of it now. Uh, Robin is not happy about this. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Fanboy with the sweep. Thank you. Let's see. Uh, you know what? No, let me put this on the... Uh, right. The next one I've shown is this one. <laughs> Trev, great covers, Lady Prime. Hey, I picked them. She just, I picked like 20 of them. She just picked <laughs> nine of the 10 that were in my my arsenal. Uh, the pole bar, yeah, most of my collection is half naked chicks. Uh, Carmen Crafts took Neil. It would have been 5 4. Everybody's telling Lady Prime, great win. Ugh, you're and disqualified from picking my books next week. You want me to go first this round? Now there's bonus rounds? Yeah. Lady, um, Madam, Madam wants my uh, address because she thinks oh, my book clearly, clearly, you need some mail calls to pump up your collection. Mm -hmm. To be fair, you didn't pick this week's theme, so... Uh, evil no. Mike. Now nah, I feel like Lady Prime is the is the half with rational reasoning. <laughs> What's up, Wicked? Good morning, everything. Wicked. Hope you're doing well. Wicked. Uh, 
I am reveling in her victory. There we go. So I have Amazing Spider-Man 798. We've got Green Goblin on his glider. So if everyone wants to say it's technically gliding. But I forgot flying. about all these covers. I've got. What's that? I forgot about the um, Green, Green Goblin? Goblin covers. Yeah. I've got a load, but I forgot about them. I thought, oh, I've got enough. But I won't bother going through anymore. The one I, I was going to go, it's another Spider-Man Green Goblin battle. It's the spectacular Spider-Man with the shiny foil cover. That's the one I meant to grab, and I didn't grab it last night. I told myself I would get up early this morning and grab it. And then I just I, I decided to just go with this. Uh, uh, even mine. That's true, Paul. Gliding is not flying. But it, Trev said, if it's uh, being propelled, it's flying. See, I'm like this. Uh, like Paul Barn says, it's not gliding. It has power. So that's true. Yeah. A real fight. I'm getting ready for soccer. First game of the season today. All right, man. Have fun. It's flying. Spider-Man wishes he could fly. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's a good cover. I like that one. Uh, Lady Prime, fanboy Prime embarrasses me every weekend with his cover, so I had to put my put put my cap on it. This <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Everything Wicked says no rain, luckily and finally. Again, is it though? <laughs> Sorry, fanboy Prime. Uh, yes, Neil, you should have used this cover earlier. I like this one a lot. Yeah, I, I'm with Doug, Iron Man all day. That's that's a fantastic cover. Uh, what's that? Nothing. Oh, yeah, I would take this is the cover you should have battled the, the Superman with all the heroes flying. Yeah, I should have shouldn't have. Oh, well. Mike says that's plain, though. I would have taken Neil this round. We having a vote, or are we just showing more co more flying covers? Yeah, we can vote. All right. Bonus, bonus battle. Plain for me, but they are flying. I got four votes off the late uh, Madam. <laughs> Trev's taking Fanboy Prime. So far, though, everybody's taking you. Which uh, surprises me. Like I said, everybody usually likes the more modern covers than the classic. Yeah. But I do like that cover a lot. I should have shown this one. <laughs> Ugh. Hurts my fingers typing this, but Fanboy Prime. Uh, Manny's going to go with uh, a Spider Man vote. So, yeah. What's worth rubbing what in for? What? <laughs> I don't know if she's actually voted. So, I don't know. Uh, she, she took you at the top. Uh, yeah. Uh, what's next? I'm going to go me... with this one. And you're probably going to say, you should use that one. I could have. Oh, I just realized someone has actually drawn around this. Traced around it. What? Yeah, I haven't drawn on it, but I can see like the push down. And oh, like they trace it. it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Man, that sucks. Can I can I switch the order of my books now? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, there's a reason. You I like that it. you. Use the, like that you use the Transformers cover. That's cool. 
You see the jet bay is actually been traced. So <laughs> I can get a reflection there. Robert Springs, how many times can you vote for the same person? <laughs> as many times as you have uh what does Mike say? As many times as you have different names. Yeah, like how oh, Bolvard says. Once, once, <laughs> once per channel, Robert. <laughs> hey, Catman. Good to see you this week. Uh, I went hey, to your, your channel twice this week. What was it? The beginning of the week? And I noticed you didn't have premieres, but I saw that you had them later in the week. I just wasn't able to jump on those days, Catman. But uh, good to see you back at it. Hope you're doing well. Oh, that was you. Okay. Yes, love Jetfire. Yeah. Did you use that on the uh, yellow cover challenge you had? I might have. Oh, I like that. Maybe, I, like I don't that. know. There was a Jetfire toy for sale on the last five years, and I'm disappointed with myself. I didn't get it. It's oversized. I don't think it scales very well with the rest of the Transformers, but it's a beautiful, beautiful toy. And if I want it now, I'm going to have to pay a pretty penny. And we know Robin Robin's said, not, she's not sending me any said, money. Um, she said last night to me, she said, I should have sent a bit of paper with IOU. <laughs> that would have been genius. That would have been genius. <laughs> uh, let's see. For your information, he is not, he is not. Flying, he's being thrown. Look at the transponder, the transformer in the bottom left of the cover. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, I think this one's a, a bit more. Is Jetfire shooting at the humans? Probably, yeah. Okay, he's still Decepticon Jetfire. That I'm trying to see the 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 trajectory of those shots. I guess he's shooting. That looks like Hound down there. Maybe maybe he's shooting Hound. I see the the explosion there on his knee, and I just think hurt yeah. knees because because I'm, I'm getting uh, old. Yeah, I'm thinking that's just how I wake up. Like Lady Prime hears me wake up because my knee pops all the time. I can't go running because my knee will. Well, I mean, I can run, but you'll hear my knee like pop, 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 or snap, you snap. Wake up like a drunken fool. <laughs> I do get out of bed. Uh, yes, old bones, probably lack of cartilage, <laughs> something like that. <clears throat> oh, Catfan, you got to get that checked out then. Uh, Catfan says, uh, hello, Robert Springs, doing okay. Worried my recent wound from surgery might be infected. Oh, not good. Get that looked at before that gets too bad. Yeah. Uh, Wellbor says, yes, he is a Decepticon then, so pretty cool. Uh, I did like that with that toy I'm talking about, the, the uh, Commander class Jetfire. He came with a symbol or his emblem. You could switch it back and forth between Decepticon or uh, Autobot. And it was based off the uh, Siege. I think it was the Transformers Siege line. Uh, they had the animated series on Netflix where they do show his history of being a Decepticon converting to an Autobot. So, And that's that's how it was in the original 80s cartoon as well. <clears throat> Paul Bard says, it doesn't get any better than Boy Prime. Yeah, I know. Uh, no bones, uh, so no popping <laughs> in the clear on that trip. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Um, I switched the order. This is not the order. This is actually the last book of 10 uh, that Lady Prime had. This is G.I. Joe starring Snake Eyes and the Transformers Generation 2, G.I. Joe 140. I have uh, Megatron flying behind Cobra Commander. This is why I switched it. Which now I realize this is a kind of a yellow, well, I guess yellow and orange cover. This is Generation 2 uh megatron i believe this is the issue right after he gets his new body yeah i'm, I'm with cat fan i love jetfire just wish i had the figure i had an original jetfire i was given a broken jetfire from the original toy line and i bought a broken jetfire and i took took him apart and, and was able to piece together a complete jetfire well i can't say complete because he didn't have the armor the red armor so I had a complete it white. Robin. If it's infected, uh, it's going to hurt. Yeah, it usually burns. Yeah. Uh, I would love to, David. I, he I heard about that. So I'm going to have to try to put that. would love to see that movie in theaters. I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of the movie, but it would be cool to see it in theaters. <clears throat> but Neil has Prime on the cover. 
Did you have Optimus Prime on your cover? He's up in the top corner. Uh, Evil Comics says, Megatron can't fly. Duh, he's a tank. <laughs> uh, David says, Neil wins. Ugh, Megatron. <laughs> Catfan says, cool cover. Oh, yeah, he is at the top. Yeah, that's true. Uh, it was. Now, I don't know in the, in the comics if that was the case. But in the 80s cartoon, all the Decepticons could fly. But the, And then the first, was it five episode or three episode miniseries, the Autobots could fly at first, and then they took that ability away from them, and they needed, like, uh, jetpacks to fly and stuff like that. Uh, Catfan was thinking it might be infected because it's leaking brown fluid from it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Doing something yeah. like that, yeah. It's not something you want to chance. I've had a friend who has chanced two infections. One almost killed him. One re resulted in a an amputation. That infection, though, he did not know was going on because it was on the bottom of his foot. Uh, Lady Prime, I will support you dancing, Trev. I was raised by a stripper. <laughs> Oh, man. Lady Prime. Robin says, if it's a surgical wound is leaking brown fluid, it could indicate several things, depending on the context and characteristics of the fluid. You didn't uh, do it Robin, in Robin's voice. Right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's still uh, going. Yeah, it's normal for some uh, serious fluid. It's normal for some seri serious fluid, like serious fluid mixed with blood to leak from the wound. The fluid is often reddish brown in color due to the presence of blood. Uh, tell your lady friends to bring the dollar bills, Lady Prime. <laughs> the problem with Lady Prime is she doesn't have oh, lady friends. Robin is still gone. <laughs> uh, there we go. Uh, brownish drainage from a surgical wound could also indicate an infection. In this case, the fluid may have a foul odor and the wound site might be red, swollen, warm to the touch, or painful. Uh, Carmen Crafts is taking Neil's cover. So, Neil, I think... Uh, I think you took that round and the bonus about it. Uh, Evil Mike, WebMD is AI. Robin, chat GPT is activated. <laughs> Doug, see, someone should take the AI away from Robin. <laughs> I was going to show this one, but I just realized something. I'll still show it. It was is that, that Transformers cover you showed, Neil. Is that one of your dollar pickups? Yeah, it was 50 cent. Yeah, 50 cent. I remember a lot of your early videos, you would always show uh, the Transformer covers. Those were the mm -hmm. ones I was jealous of. The Oh, I'm stupid. I didn't update the thing. Uh, because a lot of those early Transformers, those are like higher dollar books. So for you mm -hmm. to find them at like 50 cents was like crazy. I think you even had like the first, I don't know if it was first Dinobots or first Devastator. Dinobots. Like for uh, to find that at 50 cents is like a great find. Yeah. Is that a section at your store or just that was somewhere else you found that? It was a section at the store, but they don't do it now. So Yeah, they <laughs> realized they were giving away a bunch of high dollar yeah, books at 50 cents. Uh, they're struggling where they are. No wonder they're struggling. The one that's no, the Neil, building. Neil's taking both rounds in the bonus battle. Uh, Robin says that's too far. Uh, I'm getting sick of visualizing this. Oh, she, oh, Robin oh. continued on some more. In some cases, brown fluid could indicate other complications, such as uh, hematoma, collection of blood outside of the blood vessels. Uh, Dehiscence, I don't know how you would pronounce that wound opening up or necrosis, right? That's tissue dying. I know that one. I didn't People might like Robin smell. knew all that. Yeah, Robin's super intelligent with she, she knows how to well. use the internet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, People Mike says if the liquid smells, that's what you're looking for. Very red around the wound or surgical site. Cat fan, it's reddish brown at Robin's buys and DIY, so I may be okay. I see the doctor on the 17th. Uh, four days from now. Just keep an eye on it. 
if, you, if you're going to try to risk waiting to go that long, I'd definitely keep an eye on it. Pain, pain and heat would definitely be like my main indicators with um, when it comes to infection. Mm -hmm. When I had that spider bite, it was constantly in pain and it was hot. <laughs> Doug, there you go, Robin. Chat uh, can't give you a straight answer. If it gave you many, you still don't know. <laughs> Manny says, Neil's hat always takes me to the end of Silence of the Labs. I'm having an old friend for dinner. <laughs> That's a good line. Do you have any of the cleaner stuff they make you wash before the surgery? That's true. <laughs> what has this chat turned into? <laughs> Uh, Robin cannot let go of the medical angle of this chat. <laughs> All right, Neil, you said you had another one that you that we're going to say you should have used. Some more, yeah, I've got a few more. Uh, this one. He has wings, so technically he is flying, and he can fly. Yeah, it looks like he's trying to pick uh, the blob up and fly. Which, if that case, he's definitely anchored to the ground, and he, he's not going to be able to move her, uh, move him. Amazing Adventures featuring X Men. It's a good cover. I like that. But hey, yeah, definitely, definitely a skinny blob. He would definitely put on some more weight later on. <laughs> Doctor Robin Chat GPT. <laughs> uh. Catfan, ooh, I love the X Men, and Angel is a favorite. David says, Neil, awesome, love this issue. I do love that David is a fan of the big old boys. <laughs> like the Yokozuna, his favorite wrestler. Like mad props to that. If you guys don't know who Yokozuna is, like he's a. Good, I used to like him actually. But what's crazy, though, is, uh, and I can't think of his name before, Okuna or something like that, Okana, uh, before he was Yokozuna, before he was saddled with the, the the sumo gimmick, like the guy was just like crazy athletic, Could fly around, jump around. Like, I wish we had gotten, if, if it had been a different era to see that guy in the ring now with the, all the other athletic guys, like, oh, man, it would have been crazy. Uh, Kefman, I found a giant Funko Pop of the Sentinel, and it comes with a small Funko Wolverine. It's really cool. I gotta check that out. Uh, Everything Wicked loves that cover. Heck yeah, Neil. Great book. Oh, wait. Uh, Trev says, yes, Fanboy Prime. Talking about uh, Yokozuna. Uh, let's see. I've got the Shazam number two. Shazam. Uh, I need to move this into my Christmas oh, cover collection. That's the reflections making it blurry. Wait, uh, flying. Who's flying on that? Uh, Captain Marvel or Shazam is flying a Santa Claus. Ah, it's the whole I, see what, I see what's going on. Yeah, yeah it's kind of oh, jumbled my. and. Yeah, there's a bit much going on on this cover. It definitely is a great Christmas cover. I did not show this in my Christmas covers last year, so I got to move this to a new pile. Try to keep all, try to keep all my Christmas covers in one section, and then if I need it for like a run, I try to pick up a second copy so I can keep the runs together. What did you did you watch the Shazam movies, Neil? No, I don't like Shazam. Uh, I gotta say the casting choice for Mary Marvel was uh, perfect. Would like to see more of her in the future. Uh, Evil Mike, awesome Christmas cover, but yeah, a lot going on. Uh, Doug, half naked elves gets my two votes. <laughs> uh, Robin says Akibono Taro. Well, Akibono, I know that that uh, that guy passed away. Was it Thursday? They kept saying WWE legend Akibono dies, and I'm like, he was he showed up for one show. Sad to hear about it. Uh, oh, Captain, you picked up that Funko Pop. That's cool. cool. 
Are you fighting the cat, Neil? Sorry, Fanboy Prime. Didn't mean for my nasty wound to take over the conversation on your show. Yucky topic interruption. I apologize. No, no, apologize. no need to apologize. Is that Jimi Hendrix? Oh, yeah, yeah. there we go. Not the words. Where'd you find that? A flea market. Well, we are doing flying. <laughs> and the Jimi Hendrix experience. <laughs> oh. You said about, um, I don't know, a figure or something, and then I just remembered about it. Uh, Cat Fan talking about his uh, Funko Pop, the Sentinel and Wolverine. <laughs> All right, let me do round three vote for this bonus thing. Uh, he flew so high, he touched the sky. <laughs> <laughs> I think too much is going on in mine that this would not have gotten many votes. But I was trying to diversify the character. I didn't want all Superman because I did run the risk of doing all Superman covers. <laughs> Neil, Neil, Neil. Four Neils, one for me. I got Doug's vote. It's, <laughs> it's, uh, let's see. Oh, I got Trev's vote too. Three to four. Two of my votes are Doug, though. <laughs> <laughs> I like that cover. Uh, I wish I could find more. Everything Wicked takes Neil. I wish I could find more of those uh, classic Marvel reprints. Um, it's cool having those books. He's not. He's not cheating. <laughs> I did pick up uh, Marvel. Oh, it's in the other room. The Marvel uh, 7 pack from Walmart. It had the facsimile of. Um, Amazing Spider-Man number one. So I don't really buy Marvel. I usually skip on the Marvel packs, but um, <laughs> I try oh, not to. Robin's, it's allowed. <laughs> Robin's going to come in with a load of. Um... Uh, she's going to chat GPT what the rules for the, <laughs> the cover <laughs> battle are. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Manny took Fanboy Prime. So I think the official vote ended four to five, but uh, Neil's. Uh, Covers win again. Let's see. You got any more? Yeah, I've got. Uh, well, I've got a, a huge stack, but we'll, we'll we'll at least play to the one of us gets four on this bonus battle. Which the way it's going, in, it might end right here. There we go. I don't know if anyone will vote for this one. Ryan would have brought. <laughs> I've also voted one for each because I couldn't decide. Did he vote one for each? I don't know. Yeah, he did, I think, yeah. I see him vote, vote both for me. He decided. And Doug's uh, wife could be voting for the other one, Robin. Did you know that? Ah, that's true. That's what my mic yeah. pointed out. Yeah. <laughs> All right. It's the book I thought I lost. I was trying to do this for um, Troy's Reviews. He put out a cover challenge for like crossover cover challenge. And I was trying to put together books, but I could not find this book. I was getting upset that I couldn't find it. Luckily, last night, while looking for flying covers, I figured it out. Oh, this round was both for Fanboy Prime. Uh, last round, both for Neil. Gotcha. Uh, this is Marvel Team Up number 14. This is when Invincible visited the Marvel Universe. So I've got Invincible flying on the cover with a swinging Spider-Man. 
Mm -hmm. So was Invincible originally Marvel's um, IP then, or...? No, he's a he's an image property. So but they were doing a story, they were doing a storyline. Yeah, it's a crossover, but it's done in a Marvel book. I so, was actually thinking a a cover challenge or something crossovers, but I don't have many crossovers. That's what I found out. But mm. uh, I would like I I'd, I'd do that challenge. I'd go hunting. Because I did see a I did. challenge. Uh, there's quite a few actually crossovers. Yeah. Well, like the last time I was at Half Price Books was which last Friday. I think we went. Yeah. I saw like the uh, Justice League Power Ranger crossovers, and I was like, "Oh man, I, I would like to get them." I did. I didn't get them at the time because I was trying trying to cut down on the collection. So they're mm. out there. I would be able to find them for the cover challenge. So yeah, if you want to do that. We can do that uh, maybe not next week. I don't know that I'm going out of town next week, but <laughs> give me two weeks so we can do that one. Um, Invisible just crossed over with Fortnite, Neil, Meta. Um, so it, so what the story is here is that uh, Invincible in his book, the image book, uh, storyline is he was getting sent to other worlds, other dimensions or whatever, because the villain he was fighting could open up, uh, open up portals in the multiverse or whatever. And so, like, one of the portals he got sent to, or one of the dimensions or multiverse worlds he got sent to was the Marvel Universe. Uh, outside the story, Robert Kirkman was beginning to write a book for Marvel, and uh, they worked out a deal where he could bring Invincible over to cross over in uh, one issue of Marvel. So there you go. So that's how that's how Spider Man met uh, Invincible, and then I think someone said in the animated series on Prime that uh, Invincible basically beats Spider Man, but they call him like Agent Spider or something like that. It's not the true Spider Man. Uh, Evil Mike says they just dropped Avatar: The Last Airbender in Fortnite. Get to use the bending powers. Yeah, it's fun. yeah. I I don't know if I like them uh, powers though, Mike. I don't know the the fire one, the flame one's good. But like the wind, I don't know. It's good to get away from people, but other than that, I don't know. I played some Fortnite last night with uh, the Fresh. So I had streamed for an hour or so. Did y'all win a bunch? We came first the last round. Because I know you said he's really good at it, right? Yeah, he's good, yeah. Um, uh, Christian Christian Delion, he he liked to play, but I played once with him. And uh, Mike wants to play sometime as well. It's fun. I'm just not very good at it. I'm not good uh, at it. Evil Mike says he loves the air bending, but yeah, it's mobility. I was going to show this cover, but it technically it's flying, but it's not right now, to be honest. The cover's not flying right now. Well, it is, but it's not. If you know what I mean. It's gonna crash. <laughs> That's a good cover. Robin says air bending. I don't know if that. I don't, is she gonna look up air bending? And we're gonna get four or five chats with the definition of air bending. <laughs> yeah, still flying though. Yeah, yeah. Fire bending for the win. Mm. <laughs> Flying straight down. <laughs> Actually, given the nature of that book, uh, Ice Cream Man, uh, it could be <laughs> that is where the plane is being directed to fly. <laughs> As she will. <laughs> uh, Chris is playing uh, everything. Um, everything Wicked is playing uh, Fortnite right now. There we go. Even Mike says fire bending seems good. I need more practice with it. Yeah, I don't know. I like that one the best out of them. I tried the water and the wind one, but uh, the fire seemed better for me. More hey, Bub. Based, I think. Hey, Bubs. Bubs World. Good morning, comic fans. 
Hope you're doing well. Retro Money, good morning. Good to see you. Hey, Hope retro. you're doing well. Uh, everything wicked. If you have water bending and sit in the water, it generates your health or regenerates your health. What does it? I didn't know that. So don't ever leave the water. <laughs> That's why I only liked it when I was a baby. <laughs> it regenerated his health. <laughs> Yeah, Ollie used to love to take bath. Actually, he, he still does. He still does. He takes like an hour now. Yeah, a 5-minute, 15-minute bath can turn into 2 hours if we're not watching him. He refuses to shower. All right. Don't say like he doesn't take a bath. Like No, no, I'm saying he just refuses to shower. He only wants to take baths. Yes, and everything in the water, uh, everything, the water gets stronger in the water, boosts the attacks by 50%. So never leave the water. Of course, you leave yourself open and vulnerable to attack, but uh, there we go. Uh, this bonus battle could end right now if uh, Neil takes the win this round. Oh, I forgot to put zero on mine. My bad. Uh, I Robin Love. Sure I didn't want to end it just yet. <laughs> 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 uh, you might do that anyways Robin takes Neil Mike takes fanboy Trev takes fanboy Bubs takes Neil uh, Wellboard says his wife falls asleep in the back Catman takes Neil <laughs> Wellboard wakes her up when he hears gurgling <laughs> <laughs> no, it's too lit D-Man takes Neil Retro takes Neil loves ice cream man Robin, that's not good. Well, the wrong book, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Doug's taking Fanboy Prime. I think you got that one. I think you won the bonus battle, Neil. Uh, well, good thing. So. Good I thing I put so. all my good covers at the front for to win the <laughs> the first battle. Oops, I'm about to put I that in. Which this one? I was going to show this one. We are super uh, Spider Man. Oh, then you got Manny's vote now on that one. Let's see. Uh, let me change the banner real quick. He was outside that whole time. No, not the whole time. Did oh. she go? All I guess. And then I've got some more. Look, you swept it, but oh well. I was going to show this one. You're not gargling. Doing it, are you? An extra vote for that Black Cat 50. Oh, Lady Prime's wall art. Uh, Bob's World. Everybody likes that that piece you got there. Got it from a book. Yeah, I cut it out of some book, right? That's right. Uh, you've used that one before. Was that uh, the kissing cover battle? Yeah, yeah. Show that cover again. Everybody's telling Ollie hello. Hey, Ollie. Come here, real quick. Oh, that's right. It had Doctor Octopus there in the background, which he kind of blends in with the the, yeah, the city. In the chat. Yeah. Let's say hi, everybody. Hey, Ollie. <laughs> Neil's bringing the fire now. Me, hey, Ollie. Hello, everybody. What are you doing today? Nothing. Cleaning his room. Yeah, he probably needs to. <laughs> Bubs, Neil is disqualified for repeat cover use. <laughs> mm -hmm, yeah. And then I was going to show this one. Oh, I like that. Ooh, that's You should have showed that earlier. I like that one. The dazzler. Oh, I like this oh, Fantastic Four one, the Marvel Index. Uh, <laughs> Evil Stop. Mike, Evil Mike says, "There's my favorite door-to-door -door salesman." <laughs> <laughs> Cut it out. Manny says, "Great cover. Not a fan of classic <laughs> Angel. I love me some Archangel." <laughs> Hashtag clip the wings. Catfed says, "That's a cool cover." Yeah. Cut it out. Sit. Uh, I'm not as big a fan of this Iron Man cover as your last one. But I see yeah. Yeah. you got it. You got the flying yeah. in the background. 
Is Lady Prime talking to Wally? Uh, yes, she's yelling at Ollie to sit down right now, and he's growling <laughs> at her. Uh, mm -hmm. So, so our dog is deathly afraid of the cats. Like she whelps and everything when the cats are near mm -hmm. there. Uh, she'll play with me, and like she does the growling whenever you like want to. You know, you're playing with her toy, you're fighting with her. Like it's all in play, but she will growl seriously at Ollie because she thinks that Ollie's the one person she can bully. She can't bully the cats, <laughs> but she thinks she can bully Ollie because Ollie's afraid mm -hmm. to like discipline her. Yeah, that blade on that cover. Uh, I, I, I was wondering if that's who that was. <laughs> Neil was saving these <laughs> for these good ones for the next battle, I guess. <laughs> There's a, a Tarzan uh, shout out or homage to uh, King Kong, right? You know, with the lady yeah, on top of him. Kind of like King Kong kind of style. Yeah. Like that plane. Was that Tarzan 26? 28. 28. Let me look for that one. Pretty cool. Uh, Tarzan's got skills. How did he get up there? Yeah, I was wondering that too because it, that, that's not mm. like a... <laughs> and yeah, I've shown this next one a few times. No less carried somebody. It looks like he's fighting the, the Flash right there. Like... I get flashed yeah. by. Hey, Callie and John. Hey, David. Hope you're doing well. Uh, Robin says it looks slippery, too. Uh, show that cover again because... <laughs> Robin's saying that cover looks slippery. I'm not going <laughs> to... I'm not going <laughs> to... Retro says it's a slippery building to climb. Yes. I'm not going to tell you what that building looks like, though. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just yeah. thinking that too now. Have fun with that one, Robin. <laughs> no wonder Superman's legs are wide apart. Uh, that's true. Uh, Cafe says that looks like either Flash or the Human Fly. Uh, what were you saying, Neil? Uh, Superman's legs are kind of wide apart. I hope he doesn't slide down a bit. <laughs> Uh, Robin says in an ice cream cone. Sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> that looks like an ice cream cone. On his back like Susanna, Mike. That's good. That's good. Yes. You just get your magnifying glass out, Robin. <laughs> it looks like a truck hitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> uh, Neil's cover reminds me of an episode of Gen V. If you know, you know. I don't know. So now I'm going to have to figure out. <laughs> yeah, I don't <laughs> Robin says a microphone. Man, alive. <laughs> I guess you could talk into it. <laughs> uh, well, I had my Green Lantern cover that no one liked. They said that Lady Primes was better. Yeah, it was. <laughs> uh, I, wanted, I wanted a crypto cover, so I had this one as a possibility. But... This was probably a better crypto flying cover. Amanda Connor art. Is he flying? Although they look like they're floating lost in space more. Mm. So that, that one might have been my better cover. This is a really good story here. Is he flying though? On this one? Yeah. I think he is. I think he is. I think he's jumping. You just think he's jumping? Yeah. Uh, who's flying on Neil's cover? The girl, because he's about to toss her. <laughs> no, we, we were counting planes also. That's a good American flag cover. I like that one. Black Hawk. Uh, Cat fan loves crypto covers. And the last one I was going to show is this one. Who is that supposed to be? I don't know. I don't know either. I don't know if it's one of the Hawks. The plane, Mike. The plane. The plane. This was another possible Green Lantern cover. Both Hal and Sinestro flying. Bit plain, though. So the white background. 
I did think about uh, whipping out this DC Universe variant, Green Lantern 51 with Kyle Rayner lying there on the cover. Yeah, Hot Girl in Goth Mode. Yeah, it did definitely look like that. I had this Jim Lee cover, but I don't know. You don't know. Kyle's not necessarily in a flying mode. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's floating. So, yeah. yeah. I've got to go. Break time. Have a great day, all. All right, David. Have a good one. Yeah, David. I have this Green Lantern flying battle. Golden Age Green Lantern versus Kyle. Mm. Trev with the Jim Lee's the goat. Everyone have a great day. Time to suit up and head to soccer. All right. Everything wicked. Have a good day. Take care. You're doing well. <laughs> Robin, I love how he's going for break, but here for work. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that's what I was thinking, actually. Yeah, yeah. It's not a, not a bad gig. Uh, this was the other one that Lady Prime, the Hawkman, she was between these two. She liked this one, but she thought everybody would like the other Hawkman cover better. That one's pretty good. This is during Infinite Crisis. This is a good issue, good storyline. I liked, uh, yeah, Gray and Palmiati's run on, on Hawkman was good. It is work. <laughs> Some of the covers. <laughs> so now they're Hawkman with the the Asidic mm -hmm. painted covers. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, big old mouth. Mm -hmm. Same thing. Hawkman flying away from the. That's good too. Mouth. Yeah, pretty dynamic flying cover. <laughs> Lady Prime, you did a good job this week. <laughs> I thought he said impotent crisis. Uh, that's a different kind of crisis. I almost used this one. Boost your gold. I like I like the zero hour reference here. Is he flying? Yeah. If he's not, even if he doesn't count, Skeets counts over there. DC joke, Skeets, no. Skeets, Skeets, Skeets. I don't know. His name's Skeet, though. Uh, Action Comics with the flying Brainiac ship. You got Superman flying as well. But you've counted this as a Superman cover? Yeah. Yeah, that's why I didn't use it. <laughs> <laughs> I've got um, this Lois Lane flying, uh, Jimmy Olsen flying, and uh, why can't I think of his name? The uh, editor or the newspaper. Uh, whoa, that's going to bother me so much. Anyways, we've got the uh, okay. we've got the uh, Daily Planet's staff flying in this uh, issue. Everybody flies except Superman. Wobor has that one. I'm assuming it was the Action Comics with the uh, Brainiac. Superman can't fly. Can jump really far though. Perry, Perry White, thank you. Man, that was going to bother me so much. Yes, Perry White, thank you, guys. Yeah, thank you, Wellbore, calling me out. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Strange cover. Yeah, I'm not a real big fan of the artwork on it. But we were looking for flying, so I was like, I'll, I'll at least show it with uh, the potentials, the potential list. Got this Silver Surfer flying. I think I used this Silver Surfer with that one battle we did that one morning where we just picked mm -hmm. covers for one character yeah floating head floating head cover floating heads there we go canadian survivalist good morning hey good to see you hope you're doing well uh i think this is monel flying with uh i don't know if that's kong or chewbacca in the background Uh, I don't remember if I picked this one up from Half Price Books or if I got this one from Brian. But I also have this one that I don't know if I picked up at Half Price Books or I got from Brian. So one of these is from Brian and one of these is from Half Price Books. Uh, New Avengers number three. I've got the Sentry flying in space. Catfan loves that silver for several. Catfan loves that silver surfer cover. Wish I had that issue. It's such a cool cover. All those flying hits. Yes, Mike, definitely. Trev, it's about Whataburger time. I think that's what we're going to do after this, too. You want some Whataburger? 
I'm gonna get a Bob sausage Bob. I know it's a breakfast on a bun. I'm not giving you Bob right now. You're not giving me Bob right now. Is what Lady Um, uh, I, I thought it was a good flying cover, except her face is terrible. You've used that before. Did I use this before? I don't know. What battle would I have used this on? I don't know, but I'm, I've seen you I know before. I, heard this. Oh, I know I shared. You might have done the short, maybe. I, well, I know I did. Yeah, I know I've done it on oh, a short. I know I did it on a when I showed the full run of my Stars and Stripes. <laughs> Trev, whoa, whoa, Lady Prime. Catman wishes Is he that? had one. Of so Star Girls there. I uh, didn't use this one also because it has Superman, but uh, we got the Superman family flying. Wellbore says, uh, I'm not sure what he's talking about the Whataburger menu. Not our about Whataburger menu. Uh, Doug, don't have Whataburgers here in Michigan. Wish we did. You know, uh, a different company wound up buying Whataburger. I'm surprised they haven't taken it national because it, it, it's no longer a Texas company. I mean, it's still, I believe the headquarters still in, in, is in Texas, but it was in San Antonio for a while. But I don't think it's uh, fully tied to Texas anymore. Uh, Evil Mike says one here in Colorado, but two cities away. Yeah, so I know they've done slow expansion because I do remember when we went to Vegas, we stopped at a. Well, I don't know if it was you and me. Wrong. Uh, yeah, uh, stopped at a what a burger <laughs> coming home from one. Uh, how about some art germ? Um, well, you should have shown that. Well, Bub says this is soulless art. <laughs> Yeah, it's in a bunch of states, but it's not like like how it is. Like, it, okay, you go to San Antonio, you find a bunch. You go to other states, even if it's a city, you may find one or two. Yeah, definitely one in Vegas. Oh, meant to say sure, Fat Fingers. Not sure about the Whataburger menu. Got you. Evil Mike loves that Supergirl. Doug says, we almost had a, a Wahlburgers here in the city of Grand Rapids. Screwed that up for us. Oh, we almost had a Wahlburgers here, but the city of Grand Rapids screwed, screwed that up for us. There you go. We're trying to get I should have used this on the cake cover because there's a crack, right, Neil? No. Is that a crack? Well, yeah, it's got like the indention of the crack. So you got cheek there and cheek there. I, I hate that I'm breaking down butt cheeks on it. Oh, right. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I wasn't even thinking about the book. I was thinking about the cape. <laughs> I wasn't even looking at the book. You're looking at the cape. Got you, got you. It's a, a 70s era. I Super don't know girl. how to this. Can I bring the cat, the crack closer? This is also Art, art John. Favorite cover of the show, fanboy. <laughs> I don't like that cover. Uh, yeah, I... I do think... Uh, Nice oh, definitely. This one. And then they also yeah. he also did one of the animated series, but she didn't look like she was flying too much in it, so I didn't bring that one. Here's another art germ. Much better. The other one's too realistic. Trev loves the classic well bore. She looks like she could be on the side of a bomber in World War II. That's true. Uh, Catherine said, Joplin is getting a Whataburger 2 plus the Ollie's this week, Wednesday, so I can go to the ground, grand opening after I see my doctor. Can't wait till the 17th. Yeah, I actually went to um, an Ollie's this pet. Was it Monday? Went to an Ollie's Monday, and they actually had multi-packs. Uh, but I held off. I only got one because I was trying to save up for half price, and half price was so disappointing this last time. Does Super Girl actually have a six-pack? Uh, apparently I mean, there's that that. Cover, but apparently so there she does. Yeah, yeah, it's a pretty. Does there, but I don't know if she actually does in like um, I don't know anywhere else. Mm -hmm. Here's one, but it's not as great. She's flying clearly, but uh, she's younger than six pack there. No, she has a tight stomach, but no six pack. <laughs> Doug, oh, we're not supposed to vote. <laughs> Because I'm showing the, the half-naked women. Oh, man. I missed an opportunity right there with the cake, huh? 
Mm -hmm. I wound up having more than I thought I did. Skin tight, as Mike says. I mean, stupid girl, though. She looks weird. She looks nice. Yeah, I like I like the blonde. But it's a Middleton cover here. Odd. Trev says perfect cake. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, did did I tell you that Ollie knows what cake means? Ollie knows what cake means. I how did said, how did Ollie know I what know cake what means? Cake means, and I was like, "What does it mean?" Did he find cake at school? And I said, uh, "I said, how do you know?" He goes, um, "There's some Jim Lee." He said he heard it on a YouTube video. Oh well, yeah. And I was like, "Was it Fanboy Primes?" Because I told you you're not allowed. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, what you that <laughs> yeah. Well, well, everything he learns, he learns from YouTube. We're bad parents. We don't teach him nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I missed the Walmart 100 page giants. They were $5. You had an original story. You had three uh, reprints, but these were much cooler. I like these more than I like the, the comic packs. I wish that um, DC would revert back to this. I, I love these. Uh, pull up the video pound cake. <laughs> uh, this was a transformer cover, but it's not very good. You can see Starscream, but this thruster right here flying. Mm -hmm. So I assume the other ones are, but it's just, it's not very well shown. This was the Transformers. This was Dreamwave uh, before they went out of business. Yeah, definitely, definitely love the 100-page Giants. Robin was distracted. She was looking what something up on the <laughs> And then uh, this is the last book I set aside, which obviously I have a bunch more Superman flying covers, but I thought this one was interesting. Uh, looks more like a classic, like a uh, Superman look. What is this? Forties, uh, fifties, maybe. Uh, Action Comics eight hundred two. You got the robots flying in the background. Uh, Doug, you should have heard the crying when the power went out last night from my twenty-two-year-old son in the basement. His life was ending, or something. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Apparently the artwork I sent to Georgia made it to Georgia, then flew out to Cleveland now. Oh, dude, I the U, United States Postal Service does some weird things sometimes. You can ask Manny. Manny has the worst luck. I sent him something once, and it kept going between uh, two different postal centers. I can't remember which ones. And then he'll send me, he sent me pictures randomly where something he ordered in state was still going like to different locations. It's just weird. I don't know. Uh, Evil Mike. Uh, go to YouTube and look for the song Pound Cake Banging. Oh yeah, I know what you meant when you said uh, uh, pull up the video Pound Cake. I knew I knew that there was a was a video for that. But uh, uh, let me see. I did want to share this. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I'm maybe I'm going out of turn. Oh, here's the Ollie pack I picked up. Picked this up for Ollie because of uh, I picked this up for Ollie at Ollie's because it's a Hulk thing cover where they're gonna fight. So cool there. I already own this Superman triangle number book, but thought it was cool. I wish you couldn't tell what's in there because it takes away some of the fun. Uh, mm. Let's see. Lady Prime ad added to her Alan Moore Swamp Thing collection. What is this book? Four? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Book four. What you have? One, two, and three? Really so. so I have to take that sticker off. Oh, is it? Uh, nah, Bad Bunny, I think, is the artist on the song. Who, Robin who, Trevor, does, Trevor. who does Lady Prime prefer, Swamp Thing or Man Thing? Yeah, well, who do you prefer, Swamp Thing or Man Thing? Story-wise, Swamp Thing, but I draw a lot of Man Thing. She said story-wise, Swamp Thing. A lot of Man Things. Yeah. I think Man Thing has a cooler look, but Swamp Thing has the... Uh, is it? Swamp, me? <laughs> So, no, but Swamp Thing, Lady Prime the, uh, drawing man things. Oh, she's drawing man things all the time. Uh, Cat fan, the Ollie packs are six dollars for five books, so not bad. Lady Prime picked this up at the half price books, and she got it because remember the other day she was wondering about the boobage, she had a lot of questions. About uh, we have to have a specific uh, video for that. Right, right, right. But I just want to show everybody that she's begun her investigation. Remember, if you remember, she was talking about she wondered how her boobs were in this outfit, and so she saw this cover. So she's beginning her her um, detective work, 
I did want to show that. And then I don't know what this was, but you like the uh, Preacher from the Depths. You like this cover. Monster cover there. <laughs> Outside the pole barn. Okay, my alter ego is signing off now. Be right back as pole barn. Yes, hashtag boob socks. Somebody tore open her boob window like that villain. Oh, you like that villain? Uh, I said that backwards. Sorry. Oh, we, uh, oh, <laughs> man, I sure love a man thing, but Marvel has me with a swamp thing. You lo you sure love a swamp thing, but Marvel has you with man thing. Got gotcha, you, got gotcha, you, got gotcha. you. So that's it. I picked up two Superman books that I previously owned. I just bought updated copies of it. So I, I had a very poor trip to uh, half price. It was not a good. I should have bought more of the Ollie packs, but I'm trying to trying to be smart, I save money. Books. You bought you you spent more of that trip to Corpus oh, than I did. I forgot to show this. You're gonna show something off. Put that back on. Oh, oh yeah, you did pick that up at half price also. She also picked up a, a trade of Sabrina, the Chilling Adventures of, of Sabrina. Because I can never find the. Yes, I you almost bought one of these Manny the other day. Manny says, Giant Size Man Thing is still the best comic title of all time. I saw a couple in the uh, the lock case, though. So. What are you showing off? But you just lost what? some uh, coolness points showing that. Oh, gotcha. Uh, Captain, I'm too stupid to be smart in any way whatsoever. I love, I love how that's said. That's good. It was genius. Uh, waiting for ultra sized man thing. <laughs> you showing off some more? And then I was looking through. Oh, you you found you found a, a issue of that while we were there, right? Let's see how awful do I look? Um, yeah, I was looking through some comics and I was like, I said, hey, this story looks interesting. And then Fanboy Prime let me know. I was like, oh, I own every like, issue. I have that. So I was like, perfect. I don't have to buy anything. So I will be reading this. You can review it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all I've got this morning. You got anything you want to share, show off? Mm. No. Uh, Evil Mike no. loves Doomsday Clock. He thought Sabrina is a good read as well. And Robin figures Mike would like Man Thing. Uh, Trev says, nice. They have Doomsday Clock trade paperback at Ollie's. Sweet. Uh, I have to be careful when it comes to buying the trade paperbacks because they're really, really inexpensive. But then I buy a bunch of stuff and I never read it. And so, and I'm trying right now to read my my floppies. So we'll see. And then I floppies. Yeah, I use the term floppies. Uh, although floppies could be referring to you, floppy could be referring to me. But anyways, well, that's a different chat for another day. Fanboy Prime, what did Ollie think of the pipe cleaner mummy looking rat? Uh, he thought it was cool, and I think he said he was going to try to make one. So. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, Wellbore is driving. All right, Wellbore, take care out on the roads and have a good weekend. Uh, what were you saying, Neil? Uh, oh, yes, I, I did hear that. <laughs> I thought you were I thought you were saying something when I asked if you had anything you wanted to show or share. No, I don't. No, I don't think so. No. Uh, Robin has a question. Wait, is Man Thing the thing St Tarzan was standing on? <laughs> oh have a great weekend everybody have a great weekend doug everybody's heading out all right man have a good one trev i think we're gonna go run and get breakfast too yeah me too what are you getting or are you cooking at home or are you gonna go pick something up uh, there's a huddle house open just near us, so I might go and have some huddle house. Huddle, huddle house? Huddle house. I've never heard of that. It's normally where drunks go, but I might go. <laughs> so it's like a it's like a waffle house. Is that what you're talking yeah, about? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, the grease cards. You said you said Lady Prime some of those? I'm going to send us some, yeah. 
If you like, Grace. Your audio is off now. How did he know? Yes. Yes. I know every song. She says uh, Grease 2 is an underrated movie. And Gre- oh, yeah, it is. She said Grease 2 is actually better than the first Grease. Well. She didn't say that. I, I didn't do that one. In. But Grease 2 is pretty awesome. Like, I sing. There's a song in there that I sing, like. Robin says mm-hmm. Grease is the word. Mm-hmm. Is it? Uh, Captain is too poor. He ain't eating breakfast. <laughs> All right, Mike, have a good one. Or you're either that or he's telling everybody bye. Uh, cat fan, money all goes for comics. Can't afford to eat breakfast. <laughs> no, cat fan, no. Uh, Robin says reproduction, reproduction. Reproduction, reproduction. You're singing it? <laughs> Doug says just fried some eggs for breakfast. There you go. The best. Catman says he loves Grease too. It's awesome. Robin says the first Grease is better. Would you agree with that? Yes, it is the best, but Grease too is underrated. Like it's. Uh, Mike says never liked Grease. People all dancing after they died. I'm looking to you. I don't know what the. I don't know if these people all dancing around after they died. I'm not sure. Maybe I'm a little slow. A n- nice John Travolta. People used to tell me I look like John Travolta. Used to uh, upset look, me. Here, upset me so much. You know, I, have I have a confession. John Travolta was my first first crush. Uh-huh. I used to watch a lot of John Travolta. Look who's talking and Greece were like heavy on, play, heavy, heavy rotation. Play, so I was like, and look who I ended up marrying. You do you agree with that thought? I do. Oh. I think that's probably the attraction. Robin says, what do you mean, Mike? They didn't die. Oh, I'm waiting for Mike's explanation. Uh-huh. Uh, Olivia Newton-John and Spandex all day long. Evil Mike says, yeah, people just listen to the songs. Watch the movie. They fly off to heaven at the end of the movie. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that part always like. Uh, what about Welcome Back, Cotter? Never watched that. No, but Saturday, uh, Saturday Night Live, uh, not live, uh, Saturday Night Fever. What's another Johnson role? Up your nose with the rubber hose. <laughs> oh, what's the one where he's an abusive uh, guy? Is a cowboy movie. Is it called Urban Cowboy? Urban Cowboy. I grew up seeing that. Uh, Robin, they they flew to the clouds. They didn't fly off to heaven. I don't know. What do you think, Neil? You watch Grace? Uh Watched it when it came out. Uh, I don't remember much about it. Did you, uh, so you just bought the cards just to have something to show? Uh, from the seventies, so I thought so you, I'm got gonna, you, got you. If it's old, I like it. And you usually find that's like cards me and stuff too, at like yeah, a, a yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she she said that uh, she agreed with your thoughts. If it's old, she likes it. Um. Uh, <laughs> So you find these like at flea markets or what? Yeah. We need to hit up a flea market. Where's a good flea market? I have no idea. Goldia? I've been to one with your dad one time. But you wouldn't count, you wouldn't count it as good? I wouldn't count it. It's like... We, well, I'll have to go good. to the thing in Corpus that I always tell you about. That one spot off to the side. Yeah, uh, the what I, what's that called? Oh, the Trade Center. Yeah. Uh, even Mike, the car lifts off and flies to the clouds. They died on a car accident and it is referenced many times in the movie. Grease is a what if. Well, I have never heard that. Is that like a... We'll have to look it up. Uh, oh, I, I did see you talk in uh, uh, Busy's chat that you, you uh, ordered some a Canadian note. This, this one I got from a flea market, these. Uh-huh. This oh, is but from 1967, this one. <laughs> Robin's asking chat GPT. <laughs> What's she asking now? About Greece. What's she seen you on? She so she should know. What? Robin says that's from the director's mouth. mouth. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Bottom tier. Hey guys, I'm popping in. I'm on my way to a convention. Might bump into 22. Co- oh, sweet. Film it. We need a we need a crossover. So is this the one you ordered? No, no. That's a nicer looking one, like cleaner. This is newer. Have fun at the convention. Mm-hmm. 
uh, Robin is all riled up now. The flying car seat is more of a whimsical fantasy sequence than a depiction of death and ascension to heaven. That's that's Chet uh, It's not like meant to be taken. That, Robin. It's not meant to be taken literally as people dying and going to heaven. Rather, it's a fantastical and symbolic ending where the characters ride off into the sunset, so to speak, as they live happily ever after. Uh, I don't know how many uh, high school kids live happily ever after. Although I did find out that my the uh, oh, you have this oh, I'll check that out here in a minute. Uh, the the one of the team leads I work with that she's been with her husband since they were like fourteen or fifteen. I do have one Marvel card here. Look at how thick it is. What is that? A Marvel card. Huh. I've never. I was wondering what series it was. I'm sorry when I said what. What is it? Um, Paul Barn had the Grease album on vinyl. Oh, that's oh, a newer yeah, one. Ultra. Ultra. And most people don't envision flying off in a car to the clouds. <laughs> yeah, watch the movie again, uh, Robin, and take this through uh, with you and watch. Uh, yeah, I need the uh, I need the Grease uh, live stream where Robin and and Mike and Lady Pride perhaps yeah. discuss Grease, where Mike breaks it down the same way he's breaking down the Dark Tower. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard that, and that's crazy. Now you want to know. 22 comics. Driving and lurking, what's good? Good people. Driving and lurking, what's good? Good people. So are you meeting up with BTC as well? I need a crossover uh, episode. <laughs> Come on. Stockard Channing has never aged. Does anyone like uh, NASCAR? I've never, I've never been into NASCAR. I, I tried no. watching a race to see to see what's into it, like golf. I've tried watching that to see why people were fans of it. I, I just can't get into it. Mm. And NASCAR, I've never got into as well. Or tennis. Uh, Cat fan says I've watched Cat fan. Um, <laughs> Cat fan says I've watched Grease two about two hundred times. It was my favorite when I was younger. Oh, wow. Uh, no tennis, I can watch. Tennis is cool, but but I never watched Not tennis. Until I played Top Spin, it was a video game on the Xbox. You ever played that game, Neil? Yeah, I played it. Yeah, I thought that game was really fun for the for a mm. while there. It was my favorite game, and so yeah. after I played that, I could get into watching tennis. But it's not something I go out of my way to do. The theory gained enough popularity that John Travolta addressed it in 2016, and Greece creator Jim Jacobs finally rebuked the theory to TMZ. Ha! I don't know, Robin. I don't know. <laughs> Looks up rebuked. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> yep, in route. Oh man, that's awesome. Where, where, where? Well, of course he's driving, so maybe I shouldn't ask. I'm curious where they're where they're going to the convention at, because I know both of y'all are in uh, uh, Alabama. As uh, mm -hmm. is it a uh, Forrest Gump says it so. Robin says, I like Grease too. It's okay. It doesn't sound like she likes it. Uh, for a while there, I thought that Brad Pitt was in Grease too because I was remembering, like I had seen it when I was younger, and then I was remembering it later on when Brad Pitt got big, and I was like, was that him in Grease too? But, like, it wasn't, clearly. But um, I had to go verify it, is, is what I mean by it. Why do you shake your head no? Because uh, Brad Pitt's not as hot as the guy in Grease too. Is that what you're saying? No, because that's the dumbest thing. I've oh, that's the dumbest thing you've ever seen or heard. I used to, <laughs> when I was younger, I used to get Tom Cruise and uh, Charlie Sheen confused. Tom yeah, I used to get those two confused. I thought for the longest time Tom Cruise was no, in... No, uh, you get Kurt Russell, Patrick Swayze, and who was the other one all confused? <laughs> Kurt Russell, Patrick Swayze, and what, another one. What? <laughs> <laughs> Together, and we were having a discussion. You guys got it all confused. You were saying I might have done that one on purpose. Now, though, and when I was younger, yes, I did get Patrick Swayze and Tom Cruise. I mean, uh, Patrick Swayze and uh, Kurt, Russell. Kurt Russell confused. But I was younger. Now, later on, like when we were working together, I may have faked it just to just to make you <laughs> laugh. Fake, dude. Uh, <laughs> like it's based on lies. Yes, I already told you that. Uh, Twenty two comics is going to Huntsville. Cool, cool. Have fun, dude. That sounds awesome. Uh, 
Robin says Brad Pitt didn't age well. I like him better now. You like him better now. Lady Prime likes issues. Lady Prime likes she him likes better now. Ones. Yes, and she has issues. So, uh, Evil Mike wants to know if Robin <laughs> officially looked up rebuked. Uh, Doug says, "I've only ever gone to the Chicago Comic Con back in the late nineties. I, everybody goes to Heroes Con, and I, I've, I said that like next year. I said this year we would go. I even told you at one point that's not in the the works this year, but." would like to go next year, but then again, I did tell you we're going to WrestleMania next year. So. Yeah, well, I'm taking a nap. Oh, it's because I had just texted Jeremy. He has a year to get everything in order, so that's why I told you. Oh. Robin says, express sharp disapproval or criticism of someone because of their behavior or actions. Uh, she has the... What are the two dots? It's not a semicolon. Parentheses? No. I don't know. But she looks like she has more. She has more, Robin. But she hasn't finished sending me the chat. <laughs> when I first heard it, I'm not going to lie. I was like, who is she talking down to? Like, I thought she was talking ugly to somebody. But then I realized she just wants to be real clear when she does it. Oh, <laughs> I thought there was more. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, she could have just copied and pasted it. That's true. She could have. Yeah, she might be done with me. That's true. Uh, all right, Neil. Next week's cover battle theme. I picked flying this week. What do you got? If you want to do the crossover one, we can. I'll just have to make a special trip out of town, which I can do uh, next Friday. Uh, yeah, we can. Yeah. Okay. Uh, when's Cat um, Phil coming on? I got to get with him and, and uh, lock that date down because uh, um, swords will still be the theme there. So I've got to mm. figure that out. Because mm -hmm. I did think it was going to be sometime in April. So let me let me message him. We'll figure it out. And if next week that's when he wants to do it, we'll do swords next weekend. And if not, uh, uh, crossover, right? Crossover. Robin said she wants to do the swords. She wanted to do the sword one. Well, Phil was doing that one. Uh, we can have a four person if if uh, Robin wants to come on. Uh, that's what I did. My spelling is horrible. Yeah, my spelling is pretty bad. Catfed says Galaxy Con is coming soon in Oklahoma City with comics, games, anime, voice uh, actors, starts, etc. That's pretty cool. I don't know. I'm not. Have you ever been to a con or a convention? Yeah, yeah. Well, do you go, do you go to meet the celebrities or to sit in the really. panels? My brother and my and, and his roommate, well, my one of my best friends, they do that. Uh, they do that. They they go see the artists or they go see the the actors, mm -hmm. whatever. Like, I'm not I'm not there for that. I'm there to buy books. Like I, I, I don't know. know. Went for yeah. <laughs> it's a four way. <laughs> Heroes Con is in June, so damn. I'm a little jealous. Like I said, I did try to plan to go because I wanted to meet everybody, but it's going to have to be next year. But I hope everybody has fun. Robin met Cactus Jack, but it cost her. Did it cost you an arm and a leg? But um, Paul Barn says he might. He might what? I'm guessing go uh, going go to one. Mike has been to a hundred conventions, comics, and horror. What was the last thing we went to that was horror based? So it was um, a Killer Clowns. Killer Clowns, yeah. So there's this one mall in San Antonio that's it used to be like one of the busy, busy malls, uh, but now it's become a mall that like mom and pops open up shops in there. It's not like your name brand stuff, although there may be one or two shops like that. But they have like every weekend, or at least every other weekend, it seems like they have some kind of like uh thing held there because it was one was like i think after that horror one yeah. two weeks later was like an 80s thing or something like that so we need to we need to put that yeah and then they had like a godzilla kong thing which we didn't get to go to because i can't remember what else fell we were doing something that same weekend yeah. so um, hey super russ good to see you hope you're doing well great stream last night uh i kind of tailed off at the end when we were eating so but i was still listening in when bub joined 
but I need to go back and kind of listen to it so I can see if I can figure out what Superman issues I might have that you don't have, my my doubles. Um, Cat fan, I've never been to one yet at all, unfortunately. It's depressing that I'm such a big fan, but they are all so far away from That's kind of how I feel where I'm at. There's a small one an hour away in Corpus, but man, I don't know. I've just never, I've always been doing something else that weekend. Uh, I think it was 50 to meet him, and then if I wanted to pick, it cost more. Yeah, that's kind of how it Sounds was with the Ring right. of Honor. What's that? Sounds about right. That. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So when we go to the Ring of Honor wrestling shows, before the shows, of course, this is when they were owned by somebody else, they would have the wrestlers sit out, and you could pay to get their autograph <laughs> or pay to have a picture taken. And so that was always cool. We didn't take advantage of it as much as we should have now looking back, but I don't know. I, I just don't get into meeting celebrities. It's not as big of a deal. I don't want to be disappointed. But then it would be cool to have it in your collection now. You know, like, mm -hmm. so it's like at the time you're thinking, okay, that's cool. But looking back, you're like, I wish I had a record of it or, or something. Uh, Mike says, not bad, Robin. Nowadays, most are $100. Man. Doug says, come on if you, uh, come on if you have me. Oh, I'd come on if you had me. It depends on the topics. Can't afford to go out and get books. Uh, maybe we'll do like 90s covers or something like that. Are you on Instagram? If you are, uh, or find me. And so we can. We, we can collect, uh, collection well, I know he talked about having like a lot, a lot of 90s books oh, and stuff okay. like that. That's why I'm going to do that. Do it on next week. And if you want, we can do something like that 90s or something. Yeah. Are you, you down for that, Doug? We can do that. Independent books or something like that. Because I think it's mostly independent books. Yeah, it had a lot of uh well that would be uh only be well that would only be my books. I'm out on screen. Okay. We'll we'll link up. We'll try to put it together for next week then. Uh does the theme nineties books work? Kind of like like nineties books, I'm thinking like extreme, like everybody was overdrawn. Mm. They had pouches and guns, mostly independent books. Yeah, he, he's got a lot of, um, I'm not going to say like who, but he's got a lot of um, I know he's mentioned John, like, yeah, image, image for sure. Stuff like that, yeah. Uh, Robin saw Dark Child at the comic show last time. Yeah, he, Doug's got a lot of Dark Child. Says you could pick a different topic. Um, let's 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 talk on Instagram and we'll we'll figure I out. <laughs> well, I, that's what I was thinking. Uh, or what was we could do lady covers? Let's do ladies covers. That works. Ladies covers. That's fine. We'll I be showing off something similar to it, but that's fine. Yeah, because I mean, we'll, we'll have a, we're having a guest on, so. Um, yeah, we could do that cover again. We'll do it. We'll just call we it the, the, the ladies. The 80s, 90s, or whatever. Or is it just any from any period? <laughs> I have more than that. <laughs> he has more than half naked chicks. Uh, I, I say any period. Does yeah. that work, Doug? We just do the ladies. We're not talking about Playboy or anything like that, Doug. Oh, uh, now I showed off my art germs. I'll be out of it now. Okay, so we'll do the ladies. The lover of ladies. <laughs> yeah, those two, Neil. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe next week I'll put Lady Prime on here to be you, a uh, Doug, and Lady Prime. <laughs> she, <laughs> she also likes the ladies. <laughs> I'll use that Catwoman cover next week. He uh, gave it away already. He's got from the '80s and '90s. Uh, that's peak performance right there, ain't it? <laughs> uh, Catman was saying, "I'm always saying I can't afford." Uh, I always love the saying, "I can't afford to pay attention." <laughs> Uh, same all the Pamela Anderson covers. <laughs> that one bore me out. All righty. So, yeah, looking forward to that, having Doug on. Um, now, will there be two accounts, Doug? One voting in the chat for yourself. And <laughs> 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 all right, Mike, have a good one. 
Uh, definitely, we need to look up that that grease, uh, <laughs> the the grease conspiracy. He's gonna have to get his shop cleaned up and camera hooked up. Uh, are you gonna need more than one week then, or you are you good for next weekend? Just let us know. Either way, if you're not ready for next weekend, me and Neil can do the the crossover one. Says no, it's too much to be live and run all that, Robin. What did Robin say? Did I miss something? Next weekend's good, he said. Okay, sounds good. All righty, I'll try to actually make a real thumbnail this week in preparation oh, for this. Okay. And I'll, try, I'll try to announce it. I I need to set the. I sh as soon as this stream ends, no, I'm gonna get breakfast first. As soon as this stream ends, I get breakfast. I need to set up. For the next four weeks, and then tell I can you, always. You what, why, why don't you let Lady Pram do the thumbnail? Let's see what she can do. <laughs> that with art, her artistic background. But see, I need to do what you did because I had gone and looked up a site where, like, they kind of have the um, the thumbnails pre-made, and you just change it. Hmm. And like for the one that I was practicing on, I went and looked at your videos, like, and I was like, wait, I know, I recognize that it was something with like a red background and, and something like that. And I was like, Neil, Neil was looking at the same side I was. It's oh, like well, what do you use to do your thumbnails? Uh nothing really. I use the photo editor, the director. I, I don't go anywhere to use to make thumbnails, so I need to I need to use actually Canva. Uh, app called Canva. 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 Where's my where's my well, let me see if I can look that up. Uh, Robin says, no, I meant I went on Instagram and messaged you both so you can add each other. Oh, I get what oh. you're saying. I, I, I got you. I got you. Oh, Paul, Paul Barn says he has crossovers. Up to you, Doug. You let me know. Which 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 one do you want to do? You're you're the uh, – oh, Canva. Gotcha, gotcha. You're you're the guest, so I always like the the guest can pick. If you want to do crossovers, it'll give me a reason to go out of town, and I'm not I'm not fighting that. Doug, I'm having four <laughs> accounts up when you come on. Uh, Super Russ used Pix Art for his and Canva. So I'm gonna go look up these right now. Is that an app or is that a site? Neil, what Canva? You can get it. Yeah. It's a site as well as an app. You can get it okay. both either way. Gotcha. And you use it how as the app or you use it as the... Uh... I use the app on my phone and then the uh, website on... No, it's the app on my computer as well. It, it's... There's a free version and a paid version. Do you know what right. I mean? The free version, version works out all right? Yeah. Or do you pay for it? No, nah, free. I use free. And then there's, um, if you want the AI. Well, they're, they're trying to stop. I'm surprised I didn't hear the crash. Sorry, there was about. To, it sounded like there was about to be an accident outside my house. Uh, do, you, do you have an Android phone or? Uh... Uh, give me a quarter. An iPhone. We'll do a flip. Well, you know what? I'll flip this. Heads, we do ladies. No, 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 no. Heads, we do crossovers. Tails, we do ladies. I'm going to flip it right now. We're doing crossovers. Crossovers. <laughs> We're doing crossovers. So a crossover cover challenge next week. Um, seven books to show. And so crossovers can mean um, like. I'm not, I'm not doing crossovers within the company. Like what you mean? It's not gonna be Batman so it's not the team ups. Like you, you can have Marvel team up. You're not doing that. I was gonna say no. Right. Oh wait. Okay. Is seven too much? If seven's too much, we'll do the ladies. We'll do the ladies. We'll do the ladies if seven's too much. I mean, I yeah. probably have got the um, seven crossovers already. But uh, he says both of his are one company. But we'll do ladies then. We'll do ladies. Or. Or do you want to do a same company crossover? We could do that then. And you're talking yeah. about a team up now. 
Yeah, team ups like well, people that normally aren't together. If you know what I mean. Like well, what the, I have Batman Superman books. Are they normally together? Not really, other. Although well, the book is called Superman Batman. Yeah, yeah, Marvel team ups, and like that one that you had the. Um, what was it? See the Marvel, like, see that's what I was thinking. Image Marvel crossovers. Okay, he's got Marvel Image crossovers. Right. That's what I was thinking. Like when DC and Marvel met, or mm. the well, Power Rangers. Has he, got the seven? he says crossovers is fine. Okay. Okay. Crossovers. So are we doing team ups then, or is it just crossovers? I like the idea. So. I like the idea of just crossovers, company crossovers. Mm, right. If you can't find nice. any, it, Ollie's watches something on the tablet. He doesn't understand oh. that this is not his room. He thinks the living room is his room. It's a fight all the time. Okay, so you can have um, like image like. I'm trying to think of some darkness and witchblade together. See, the thing with image is that they're separate universes, so that is technically well, yeah, a crossover. That's the thing that, hmm. But you, I don't know. You yeah, can't have Marvel team up. I would say not Marvel team up. If you can get the image crossovers, like you said, darkness and mm -hmm. would you say witchblade and darkness? Mm -hmm. Do it. Yeah. I think that's fine. Yeah, she's got she. I know she's done some crossovers. Oh, yeah. That, that reminded me. I've got one of those. Is it true? So that'll work. I'd say not. let's not do like Marvel team up or like in, in, in DC. It was DC Comics present Superman would team up with someone. We won't do those. We'll just do crossovers. Things like in the image crossovers when they're two separate universes, but they mix. Mm, I'm okay. fine with that, too. I think yeah. That counts. All right. Mm. That'll work. Yeah. All right. What's that? Uh, That'd be good. Did this bonus battle count? No. Or did I no, win? you won. You won. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and call, bring this uh, stream to an end. Yeah, I'll, uh, I have to answer Robin so you can add me on Instagram. Okay. I'll do that as soon as this ends. Um. All right, sounds good. Uh, looking forward to having fun next week. This crossover cover battle. I'll try to have the stream set up <laughs> before the end of the day. Uh, Huddle House, Huddle House. Oh, Amalgam. You know what the Amalgam books are? I don't really know. Mm. Oh. So that's when DC and Marvel had their crossover, but they combined the characters. So, like, there's a character called Dark Claw. It's Batman and Wolverine mixed. Uh, yeah. I'm cool counting that, but uh, I don't own any amalgam books, so I would like to one day. So it's called Huddle House. Yeah. And you're going to get what there? Breakfast. But I mean, like pancakes, waffles? I've never been, so I don't really know what to do. So the menu is. Are you going to get mm. biscuits and gravy? No. Yeah, this is disgusting. I agree. I don't like white gravy. Gravy should not be white. <laughs> <laughs> That's my preferred gravy. I love country gravy. I love country gravy on uh, steak mm. fingers, on chicken strips, on fries, on chicken fried brown steak. Gravy. gravy should be brown, not white. That's nasty. <laughs> All righty. Well, <laughs> and wrong. <laughs> mm. I don't like the white gravy when it gets cold. I'll say that. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, oh, well, Robin says, I wonder if I can have maple syrup. She's trying to break the rules of her recovery, right? <laughs> Ooh, so is blood sausage, but you can eat that too. Ooh. That's good I, stuff. I, I'm not, I don't know. I'd have to. It's good. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the stream. That way I can run and get breakfast. So Neil can go to Huddle House and get uh, ham, a cowboy breakfast, which is ham, biscuits, and gravy. And, uh, yeah, thanks, for everybody, for hanging out. It was fun. And uh, let me see.
Yeah, here's Ollie. All right, everybody, have a good day. Bye, everyone. We'll see you later. Bye. Video. Say thank you for watching. Subscribe. Bye. Say, Bye. Say night, guys. <laughs> <laughs>